Welcome, everybody. How y'all doing? Welcome to the Night Crew Show, or as I like to call it, NC on SC. Uh, I am Buster Destroyer, and with me tonight, I have Ace Tycho, Gendora Olap, and Hink and SC, all from the Night Crew. And uh, welcome, guys. Good, glad to have you guys here. How are you doing tonight? Good to be here. Super. Doing well. How about yourself, Buster? I'm doing all right, but let's get into the details of it, all right? I'm going to start with Gendora. Gendora, how has your week been this week? It's been crazy. My kids are still here. I just I just got a <laughs> notification that uh um that it looks like for sure I'm homeschooling them for the rest of the year and uh that's kind of uh that was unexpected. <laughs> uh Sorry. and so yeah, so we have some conversations this week. Uh, current like even though they're 10 and 6, there's a lot of like hey why is why is Corona such a bastard, right? And all that stuff, right? So just kind of going through and explaining things to children, and uh, yeah, be like, yeah, all that. So we already like to stay home all the time, anyways. But now even the parks are closed here, and it's just like that's that was the one like thing that I like to really do with them. So it's 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 been tough that way. Um, it's been hard for my wife too because she's a uh, like we both work from home full time and and our only real solace was like kids go to school we get some stuff done and then when they get home we can take care of them for a while right and so it's definitely been a struggle but i've had a lot of fun too uh, a lot of people have been coming out of the woodworks to play games i run a variety group uh for gaming so like we've been i've been seeing like five or six different games simultaneously going and it's been really cool to to be able to do that like last night i was uh i was playing a couple different games like star wars the old republic and then jumped in to to play cards against humanity and tabletop simulator and you know both on and off of twitch right cards against humanity isn't always good for (laughs) twitch yeah like, I I would imagine. Imagine. like bring bring everyone in and be like but you can't use any racist cards and they're like cool well screw this game <laughs> so yeah uh that's that's been my week though like uh lots of playing games i did some modding earlier and we talk a little bit about that if we felt like later in the show um it seemed like the community was really interested in learning about how to mod the game so i decided to show that off on tuesday and that was pretty fun Oh, Next round, cool. the uh, um, Star Citizen RP coming up, huh? No, yeah. no quantum, real time travel only. Uh, I mean, we can just the expanse version. I mean, sometimes that's how it feels. <laughs> <laughs> All right, how about uh, how about you, Hankin? You know, the quarantine stuff's been pretty crazy, giving me a lot more time to. You know, be at home and play video games, which is, as most of you already know, a dream come true. Um, but I have noticed I have to start doing more um, incorporative games like uh, Jackbox games, which has been really fun, surprisingly. Um, you know, getting people from I had people from Italy drawing, you know, it's a little game where everyone draws and you vote on what the picture is and doing an interactive stuff other than just Star Citizen. But, you know, always fall back on Star Citizen. I have to. It's my baby. <laughs> Can't stay away from it, but it's my son. You know, yeah, <laughs> you know, I feel like uh, as streamers now too, we have kind of you know I would say become an essential worker because we help people you know that are bored at home. You know, not everyone has a roommate or a significant other or pets or anything. So, you know, the little bit we can give back, you know, talking and hanging out with people, I feel like is pretty damn essential, especially in these times. I know I I couldn't do this without everyone here. Like, yeah, I need you guys. <laughs> There's no one else. I don't know. Yeah, and I feel like I feel like we have an advantage as people who are already socializing a lot on the internet, right? Yeah. Like we have a skill set that's all of a sudden like people have realized that maybe demand, maybe yeah. they should have been working on that too. Mm-hmm. Like talking to their family that wasn't in the same state instead of acting like they were dead. Um but yeah. <laughs> I I've, I've thought that was funny. Like I've just been getting calls from all sorts of family members who have like totally ignored me unless I traveled a thousand miles to be in the same state as them in the past. Like all of a sudden they're like 
sending me messages and calling me like friends from college and stuff right and like have you guys had that happening I've had a lot more people interested in what I do now. <laughs> they're like, show, show <laughs> yeah. us how to do this online gaming. You know, like, oh, yeah, I've been playing too. one called Human Fall Flat, and they're like, you can do this with multiple people. I'm like, I've been asking you guys to do this for years. Like, <laughs> you, know, you know, especially with Steam. Steam does a thing called remote play where, you know, people don't even have to have the game. You can, yeah. like, Tabletop um, Simulator, for instance, awesome. I can remote in a bunch of people, and I'm like, all right, we pass the mouse around while we're drinking on camera. And they're like, I didn't know you could do this with a computer. And I was like, Oh my god, this is all I've been talking about. You know I, mean? like, I should try remote now. play. I it's hadn't good. thought good. that with tabletop simulator. Yeah. It's I've always been able to convince people to pay the ten dollars for a CD key. <laughs> oh true that. True that. It's nice and cheap. Oh man. And then I have yeah, have used to, you know, buying games on Steam. You know, that, that's that's no, a new thing for no. people too, you know. I thought a lot of people just aren't used to the idea of playing games. I think I think I had basically shunned anyone who wouldn't spend time with me digitally before though so like only family are really coming out of the woodworks i was just like oh you you don't understand these words i'm saying cool well yeah. it's very neat i'll do homework with you and then we're done um but <laughs> i'm pretty choosy how about how about you ace taika what you been up to i haven't seen you in a bit yeah man doing okay overall um been spending time with uh family recently and uh, having a good time and been uh, dabbling on a few games here and there, and uh, what are their names? Um, uh, or do you not want shoot. them to get jealous? Shoot, right? <laughs> right, right. You gotta, you gotta keep certain games quiet from other games. You Apparently, know, they, start to, they start to sideways look like. Why aren't you spending time with me? I'm, you know, I'm gonna crash on you at the most inappropriate moment. You know this, right? So, but yeah, I, uh, I got my Star Citizen account back up and running after an account. Ooh bug so super hyped congrats about it. felt really good getting back in um it felt kind of kind of weird for a few days uh you know not not not, not getting my um verse uh time <laughs> can you, <know>? you fix <laughs> you gotta get my gotta gotta get it just 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 just, just, right just one more login just just, just <laughs> one more <laughs> cargo run exactly so you know so yeah, it's been fun spending time with friends and well, not friends necessarily, but uh, decided to go spend a little time with family for the past uh, week or so, and uh, just been working on some uh, behind the scenes life stuff, figuring out some changes, and um, you know, getting some good news about health, some big challenges coming up, but finding out some answers, which is really great, and uh, making some decisions, and hopefully. Once all this uh, coronavirus stuff passes, I can get on with some more normal medical stuff and uh, start you know, continuing. Well, start continuing. That makes sense, right? Just you know, yeah, totally. continuing on, on, on a good path, you know? And uh, so, yeah, good stuff. Uh, good gaming. Uh, so, you basically, I've been on like, like itch.io looking at some really fun indie games and um, just some, just some super weird relaxing things one called like quiet stone another one called rail route another one called songs of six which is super ambitious being made by one guy but i'm i, I can't talk about it too much but i'm really excited about star citizen stuff I, i'm really happy with how stable star citizen has been uh, overall with friends and i'm just really looking forward to the friends list and friends system that's coming up as well you know, and yeah. uh, just yeah, so from what I've seen, that looks that looks like it's a significant improvement to the yeah. experience for sure. Heck yeah! So yeah, life's good, man. Heck yeah. Awesome. You, so Songs uh, of Six is made by one person, so it's technically false advertising. This is this is this is <laughs> right. True. This is truth. You know, okay. It, it is a fantasy city state simulator so it's all fantasy it, nothing okay like so it. he fantasized that he was six people yes, right apparently we, we can we can we can all right understood fantasy and, and play. Uh, yeah. it's really this is no fun. longer false advertising it's just confusing advertising this is i true. can deal with this but isn't life a fantasy isn't it all an actual hologram being converted by our brain in some sort of weird chemical mixture ace calm yourself okay did you watch too much star trek picard <laughs> I love me some sci-fi, no matter where it comes from. <sighs> and I, I have no judgment. I 
I love sci-fi in all shapes and forms. I may not agree with it, but I love it in its own special way. <sighs> <laughs> all right, how about you, Buster? Yeah, yes, I was going to say. Let's pass tell, it on. Tell us about your week. Um, what about you? It's been Life's pretty good. Hopefully things are okay. It's been a pretty good week. Um, you know, like I've said before many times, the, the quarantine thing isn't a huge adjustment for us. But it is. It, 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 I do miss like being able to just go out. And just like do yeah. something like go, oh, okay, I need to go run some errands and stuff like get out of the house in general. Um, I mean, nothing I went, like being told you can't do something you right, weren't going to do before, yeah. right? Well, I mean, I, <laughs> no, I, mean, I would have gone to the store, you know, like I generally go to the grocery store every weekend and yeah, I, I run various errands throughout the week and uh, I'm not able to run those errands like I used to. So, yeah, it's starting to wear down on me a little bit. Like, I, uh, I've been telling my boyfriend for years we needed to get patio furniture so I could actually sit out on our little tiny patio, and uh, now I'm like definitely like, we should have got the patio got furniture. <laughs> Would have been real nice to have that. Yeah, because, I mean, just no, standing outside, just you just look like a weirdo. You're just like, just going to stand here. Oh, man. You know, so. Yes, the balcony is made of balcony. Yeah, and my neighbors, you know, they the other day I could hear it sounded like they had like a gathering because it sounded I could hear multiple adults and multiple children, and I was just thinking, you guys just don't care. Um, have, have any I've, of you? I've, got, have I've you heard any, so much stomping in the past have, couple days. Have you any any of you guys had those neighbors that just like kind of silently stare at you from across? <laughs> but like they'll do it for hours. Like you'll be out there trying to garden or whatever, and they just like. They just, they'll bring, like, the I had someone who would bring, the no, they would, like, bring a chair out. They would sit yes, in yes. their garage and just stare at you and, like, smoke. And just yeah. be like, and you'd be like, hi. And they'd just, like, stare. <laughs> just and I'm like, like, back, like this, is why, this is why I don't leave. The, I just sit here inside here where I feel safe. I'm like, go out there. And just like, everyone's just like staring. I'm like, why was that guy in his, <laughs> why, why was that guy in that building all day? Why is he shouting? <laughs> okay, right. maybe I'm weird. Right? It's, 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 like in that context, right? I mean, like, especially when I play like a VR game and I'm like, start shouting at characters, they get really into it. And then, I think I think uh, I think my wife had to explain that I was like shouting I was going to kill something uh, <laughs> in a game, you know. Oh, once I, like, you. I was playing like I was playing like a VR game that got like super intense, and I was just like sh- screaming that I was going to kill something that was a, no, like I'm jump sorry, scaring me. Uh, domestic abuse VR. It's a game. <laughs> I was like, I'm sorry. Okay, my wife said everything's fine. <laughs> No, I mean, other other than, like, not being able to go out and do errands, like, I, which I know I can have it delivered, Jeru, but it's not about, like, having it delivered. It's more about, like, I just, you know, cabin fever. It's, it's the process, know? yeah. Like it's, it's cabin fever. And, uh, but otherwise, I mean, we're doing fine. Um, and then streams have been pretty good this week, yada, yada. I gave away a Drake loot and scoot package this week that was funded nice. by my community. So that was pretty cool. And then... Um, uh, I guess, you know, I've been doing Star Trek Vasquez and stuff like that, but sometime last week, like, it was funny because it was in, the, we were just about to get started on Star Trek Vasquez last, uh, this, this past Saturday, and sometime last week, I had tweeted out a thing about, like, um, I had tweeted out, like, from Animal Crossing, because I've been playing a lot of Animal Crossing right now, and, um, and so I tweeted out about Animal Crossing, like, my, I tweeted out my picture of my Whataburger stuff I made in... Um, awesome work, by the way. Awesome work. Yeah, I, I made like a, like a, a, a Whataburger art gallery in Animal Crossing, and I added Whataburger on Twitter when I made it, like as soon as I posted it. And then like maybe within two minutes of me posting it, Whataburger responds, and they're like, can we share this? Like, do you have an Instagram handle? And so I gave them my Instagram handle, and like about five days later, which is that Saturday, they had posted... So I'm getting ready for Vasquez. I just got my Klingon makeup on. And then, like, suddenly my, my Instagram was just going wild. That's and then awesome. I I realized, like, they had put that out. They finally put it out on their Instagram. And it was, like, it was, like, 8,000 likes or so. That's really good. Yeah. So, I mean, I got some Pretty spillover. Important. Like, that same picture was on my Instagram a few days earlier. And, like, it probably had about, like, 40 likes on it. And it jumped up to over 100. So people, and then I even posted like my code so people can find my stuff on there. So 
Yeah, I'm, 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 people, people are into that. But, but yeah, so it's been pretty cool. So social media has been doing really well for me this week. But, but yeah, like I said, just, just a good week. Drake Luke Scoop Package, et cetera, et cetera. I had some really generous people just drop my giveaway goal funds on me like in one go in the last co- like couple weeks so it's been pretty awesome. awesome um but yeah it's it's been good and talking to my parents you know my mom just we actually we facetimed my mom just a few minutes ago and uh she's doing all right she's a nurse so and so is my and i talked to my aunt like last week too who's also a nurse and they're <laughs> They both, it was funny because last week my aunt was saying, just speaking of coronavirus, she was like, this is about to get really bad and it's starting to get bad. So please, please, I, I know that you guys have heard this a million times, but, but, but don't be one of those people going out and about, you know, and putting yourself and others at risk. So there's and a remember, PSA. it's not about you. It's about the people around you, not giving it to them. Yeah, it's necessarily. Not. A lot of people are like, I don't care. I don't care if I get I guess, sick. I'm going to be fine. It's yeah, like, but you can. It's you not can, about you. Yeah, yeah. I, I, you can not show symptoms apartment. and still be a carrier. I'm of paying it. rent for because yep. uh, the lady below me has autoimmune and her husband's going through chemo. The people wow. across, uh, you know, all these people are like 70 plus There's years old. There's tons of like, immunocompromised I'm people out there. Not going to live here anymore. I don't want to be the Florida man story about taking out an entire condominium by myself. You know, so <laughs> I literally. Like where I'm streaming from right now, this is my friend's guest room. I was like, "Can I just like stay here for a month or two? She's like, "Dude, fuck yeah!" Like, she won't even go see her mom. You know, like that's how hey, it is. You, you know? have, to, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Man. I just, I'm I blame. don't want to risk it. You just, you never know. You know, I don't you, blame imagine her. being yeah. a carrier, dude. I'd be so sad if I found out that I just yeah. About twenty. It. I think the estimate is about twenty five percent of people with coronavirus are just carriers, and so yeah, that's yep. like a quarter yeah. of of yeah. all these people are like that. There's people out there who have well, it who don't even know because they don't show symptoms, but they still carry it to others. So. For a yeah, lot of people, it's just presenting as a regular cold, right. basically. That's that's the big thing, uh, right? Like, it's, it's, people... it's like a fever and flu more than anything. Yeah, right. yeah, but like, like a, it's it's as in Some enough people, that you yeah. wouldn't go to the hospital normally, just like right. a real shit time. But, and so that's that's the key is you you may not know that you actually have it. Yeah, my aunt that I talked to who lives in San Diego, I asked her, because she's an ER nurse, and so I asked her, I was like, what is life like for you right now? And she basically said, you know, she's like, this is really alarming. She's like, the deterioration rate, like, she's like, we can have somebody come in, they just have a little shortness of breath, they have, like, the basic symptoms. We put them in a room, you know, we get to them, and then, like, within hours, they are just, they are deteriorating to the point that we have to put them on a ventilator, and they are, they're, they're, they're having a bit thrown in ICU, and they're fighting for their lives, and she's like, and a lot of these people, um, like in the beginning, it was a lot of older folks, but now it's like everybody no. it's across the yeah, whole spectrum. Yeah, medium and, and younger ages. And she, I know Argon, yeah. Argon uh, got it and said that it hit him like a freight train within like four to eight hours of him realizing he had anything. Yeah, it does that. It does that to people, yeah. especially younger people. She said like, she just was like saying, oh my God, Buster, like, you know, I'm seeing people your age come in and they're, you know, being put in ICU. And if they're, you know, some of them, you know, some more grim circumstances, but she's like, but it's just scary to see it just go so quick into somebody's system and, and just rapidly deteriorate them quickly. So, so yeah. Anyway, I'm excited for 3.9. Jamie. I'm definitely excited so for 3.9. <laughs> Someone just release it. Come can on. Describe the excitement. Like, can we, can we talk about the first, uh, what is it? Calling all devs? No, the uh, other one with a uh, new Babbage. Can we talk about that video? I want to talk about the new inspection system on the guns with the way sure, you can attach, do attachments. Like, like the new crap. attachment system. Yeah, yeah, no more. You know, you know, they've talked about persistent inventory, right? Where you have to go and pick up a gun and pick up your yeah. uh, armor and whatever. Now we're finally seeing it to the point where we no longer have to go to the Moby menu to oh, make dude. attachments. To Once we can get out of that Moby it's menu, like it's going to feel so much better. It's ex- exactly. Yeah. You know, you go up, you can pick up a gun from your freaking uh, weapon rack, attach the attachments that are there, and then you're ready to go instead of being like, Moby glass. Oh, I forgot something. Moby glass. I forgot I'll something. Say, Mo- I'll say you know the same I mean? thing like, I said last week is I hope that 3.9 or at least a patch upcoming uh, separates a true attachments from ammunition when you're purchasing because yes. that annoys that annoys me to no end. <sighs> Because Absolutely. attachments are not ammunition are not attachments. Ammunition is ammunition. Attachments are attachments. Now, unless they come with special ammunition, 
Yeah. Okay. Like we could consider that, but like, there's a lot of things about the ammunition system that need tweaks so that it can like work. Like, I mean, I, I want a reason to actually to buy clips, yeah. like beyond just like saying, okay, I'll fill my inventory up and hope that it kind of works. Yeah. Right. <laughs> like it's, well, I could see them putting uh, magazines on like their own thing. Like once we have ammunition types, which they already talked about doing for ships, like the shredder, the whole yeah, point totally. of the shredder was to have different ammo types. You know, so it'd be sweet if we had that and then it opens up a menu. And before giving us just a menu, I wish we had a load all button that we can push to the missiles. You know, so instead of being like, let me click on my Rattlers 32 times, you could just be like, load everything. Yeah, just know, like, like uh, no, like, yeah, yeah like, missile please be shoot treated. more. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm tired of having to go in and be like, click, attach, click, attach, click, attach, click, attach. Yeah, because like, the, the way to cheat that, but the, the, way, the way to cheat that, like, to have to reload, like, a whole new a compliment is, is, uh, so much really fast. No. <laughs> <laughs> that works for me. <laughs> it's to, it's to unequip and re, it's to unequip uh your undersuit save changes and then re-equip your undersuit and save changes that's the fast real that's the well, fast real well for the for the ship missile element though i i yeah. do like they talked a little bit about a missile operator concepts um that something that did come up in some of the recent videos was a fair amount of talk about where they wanted to go with the multi-crew functionality though mm -hmm. it was pretty clear from what they were talking about that they're in very early phases on yeah. that unfortunately right yeah like i uh it's exciting right i appreciated the conversation but yeah definitely what i got out of that conversation was we're not going to be seeing it for a minute yeah, yeah. like it's cool they're thinking about it at least you know, totally like, totally like the, i, the I like yeah as as someone who like primarily likes to run multi crew large group sessions with a lot of people on a big ship, having that ability to be like, cool, if you shoot one more friendly, you're losing your turret privileges. I would love that. That would be great. And you'd be like, sorry, you're marked on all of my ships and you can't fire any of the guns. Right. <laughs> Just take, take the, one of the big reasons I'm so excited about the Prowler as someone who invites everyone from my stream to play with me is the bulletproof wall that comes up behind me as a pilot. Mm -hmm. Oh God. Yeah. Right. Like, Oh, so genius. Just like it, if we could lock that door in the Valkyrie, same thing, right? Like you, kind of I like love doing the... actual airplanes, right? Like exactly, the, the pilot's right? door is like super reinforced and it's, like, it's never opened during a flight in general anymore unless like the pilot opens it from the inside or mm -hmm. a, like a steward i mean you got a bunch of itchy right, triggered guys, marines in the you, back you what further you... now we can literally create brigs in a ship like an 890 it's like you know the security <laughs> yeah. officer goes down here i'm the only one that can touch this door get in here i'm not trusting you, <laughs> you know, like we can legit now the, whole, the, lock, like, the but, locking door mechanic like that to yeah me, is that's awesome. just it's gonna be epic yeah, and then with the new cutting um, system revamp for the multi-tool later this year, uh, it's going to be really cool. We're going to be able to do all sorts of things with multi-tool. and Yeah, we're going to have to have the persistent uh, inventory too, though, because what's going to stop someone from going F1 and then yep. pulling out an Omni-tool? I have 600 yep. of these. You it's know, good exciting. luck taking them all. Like That's really going – You. that's a really good point. That's mm -hmm. going to change – the game yeah. but before we forget buster can you throw up the whole like question link so that people know how to submit questions uh it's exclamation point question okay so i'll do that or is it like sorry uh, just my hands what? i got stuff on my hands real right now yeah yeah i got it there you go teamwork there you go there you go teamwork. But, hey, if that's um, all I gotta do, I I'm all down for but it. But before we get <laughs> before we get too far away from from the intro, uh, let's let's get through some of the intro stuff too, real quick, and then we'll get back sure. to this discussion. Um, so um, bug of the week, gentlemen. Hey, Massacast, thank you for that raid and welcome everybody for Massacast stream. We are the Night Crew. This is NC on SC, and we are talking about Star Citizen. So welcome everybody. How you doing, Massacast? How was your stream? But yeah, so bug of the. Form. Bug of the week. I'll start with Ace Tycho this time. And obviously, if you've been playing Evocati, you can refrain from this. But um, but if you have any bug of the weeks from uh, bugs of the week from three point eight point two, I'd love to hear them. So Ace, what was your bug of the week? 
Well, um, it was related to a few weeks ago. My, uh, I, I had my entire account bugged out. I had, uh, I did an account reset because of multiple 30 K's and other game breaking related issues caused me to have like double digit credits and I could really, I couldn't do anything in the game anymore. I was like, I'll just do it. And I lost, you know, tens of thousands of credits in a matter of minutes and all sorts of stuff. So I was like, all right, I'll just do a quick account reset, jump right back in, have a great night. And when I did that, um, <laughs> how many, broke, how many weeks later? It was, um, it was, it finally got resolved. This final reset the other day, Ooh. it was three weeks total. Oh, wow. Um, cause I, what had happened, uh, I, I should have been smarter, but you know, um, uh, that's, mm -hmm. I'm not always known for that necessarily. So, um, I should have spawned on a planet where I could go in an oxygen rich environment, but no, <coughs> I was on Port Alistar. I was naked and my Moby glass would not work. So <laughs> I was I, on Port Alistar. I was naked in my Moby glass. So <laughs> exactly. So oh, I had a heck of a night, right? And not and a biography so, by Ace Tycho. Abs absolutely. Um, you know, I just um, yeah, good times. Was it was it the issue where you have an invisible character? No, it wasn't that. I was. So when you hit F four, you was, still had a character. I I, I yeah. So okay, I was. Cool. I had no flight suit. I could not access my Moby glass. I could not purchase anything. Um, I went through, I really went through the paces to try to fix it. Okay. Uh, cool. Forum posts. I, I had that particular version of it. Right. Cause yeah. are, as you probably have heard, no, hopefully never experienced. There are a few Definitely different ver versions. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Well, so uh, the particular one that has affected me several times Okay. Yeah. is yeah. where, um, where your body disappears. Okay, yeah. sure. And yeah, I've reset really, accounts really multiple that. times thinking that would fix it, but all you have to do is go recustomize your character because what's happened is you literally don't have a character because it got corrupt. Okay. And you just have to push the button, remake the character. Nice fix. So that's but the workaround. That is the workaround. You just go hit okay. that and you'll create a new character. Because I, I um, on 382, I have had it happen three times in the same night. Okay. Where it just well, like where I ended up corrupting my character while I was dicking around on the Moby glass. Like yeah, I, yeah, I yeah. changed a piece of equipment and all of a sudden my Moby glass goes away. If it, the way you can tell that that particular version of it is happening is hit F4 and you won't see yourself. You'll just be like, wow, sure. this is like a really cool camera. Sure. The neat thing is if you're in a location that you can do this, <laughs> you're invisible. You can kill people. Ah, uh, you can take them down still, um, and and you can follow people onto their ships, but you need to be on a planet that has atmosphere. Uh, okay. And if they land anywhere that you have to transition to so out of atmosphere, you'll just you'll suffocate, right? Okay, okay, right? right? Because ghosts can't wear spacesuits, and ghosts still need to breathe air. Sure, sure. this is Star Citizen lore friendly. This is <laughs> <laughs> the ultimate secret uh, cloaking. Um, that, that particular one took me several resets and a lot to figure out. That's why I, I wanted to explain my yes. understanding of yes. if, at least a variation of what sounds like you were experiencing. If anyone asks yeah. an interesting question, if you, sit in, if you sit in a seat while ghosting, will you appear? That, that tends to be per people's most common like go-to well, when this is happening. No. That's server, a desync issue. Server uh, desync, yeah. 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 That's, a, yeah. that's a, so, a desync between you, the server, and other players. So, yeah. for instance, when you're all at Lorville and you know, you're standing next to each other, but they're not lining up, when you both sit on the chair, you both just synced up. You know, you can do artist yeah. uh, underscore display info three, and I'll show you your uh, server latency or uh, basically desync on the server. Yeah. And part and, of that and, was also the physics. Yeah, there was an issue with some of the physics integration as well. It wasn't server desync. So not all, all sorts of, of things. Yeah. Not on. all of the interactions work when you're a ghost. And the way mm -hmm. you can tell the difference between a decent ghost, like or you can use the console to see your your ping. But if you hit F4 and you don't see a character, you're invisible, you're a ghost. 
if you see your character and other people are saying they don't see you, it's because you're not synced with the local area. So um, yeah. the way to fix that, in my experience, is for all of you to like go sit in a chair or a seat inside the same spaceship. And that's actually been the only way so far on 3.8 that me and my play group have been able to do like PvP with each other consistently is to get in one of these large spaceships and all interact with something and sit together because we ended up in the same uh, object container. So we ended up with the same refresh rate. Okay. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. I'll, uh, I'll move my mic a little bit closer. Sorry about that. I'm not at my usual setup. I so turned I'm... you up a little bit and I turned Gendor okay. down just a hair. No. What? I'm sorry. Massacast <laughs> was pointing out uh, some Im imbalance issues in the audio that I haven't noticed. Sure. Yeah, thank you, Massacast. But yeah, so that's my bug of the weeks. And that's, um yeah. It's an important one to cover. It's a it can yeah, be bug of the week. Don't know how to use I it. like that. I like the S of the bug of the week. Right. Right. <laughs> And it was frustrating. I had a bunch yeah, of plans, can, community activities, everything else. It happens to some people, man. And, oh, well. and honestly, the thing is that that kind of decides what kind of person. You know, I've seen other players get hit like this, and they're like, "I don't want to play anymore." I'm like, "Man, just just keep yeah. trying." Like, yeah. All it takes is, you know, like right now you got to realize the yeah. two is going through transition phase as well. You know, a Absolutely. lot of them have to work from home now. You know, setting up systems that access these, you know, encrypted databases that they don't yeah. want. You know, they don't want people remoting in because then they can't control where that stuff is, you know, being seen, you know, so of course support is going to have an influx of tickets, you know, I mean, they're not the only ones, you know, like even banks are having uh, issues responding to everyone, you know, makes yeah. sense. So whoever's next, um, that was my bug of the, bug of the week. Uh, everything else has been pretty well. Okay. When I could play before, uh, but that was a number of weeks ago. I, um, so yeah, looking forward to uh, the account running, looking forward to hopefully, the update sometime in the next week or two Soon. Um, or one hour and one hour, yeah, right. like one hour. One hour. Is, right. that, is, is that the meme we're going with I, that's the and meme so, that we've been going with for we'll almost a solid year now i mean i don't even, i don't even bother i'm just like i don't know guys it's probably right, after right, i'm dude. done streaming right. today okay yeah. please stay as soon here. as i log right. off they'll push that's it out it's like it's i'll true. be i'll be in some event that i'm not allowed to get out I've, of i've been on like drop and i'll be yeah. like oh i remember so and the next week everyone's bored of it i remember i was like <laughs> i think i was on the space bro show like right before right when three seven or three eight went live on the ptu for the first time and it was funny because like you know the, the, or, did i call them the night bro the space bro show <laughs> i was on the space bro show and we're doing the show and they usually go for a couple hours and like that night we only went for an hour because we realized like nobody's watching us because everybody wants to see the ptu <laughs> we're not even like in it you know that makes sense but yeah, but it, it is it it do be like that. Like everybody, and thank you for that sub, uh, that Matt, that Twitch Prime sub, Matt's yeah. cast. Do appreciate you. But yeah, it, it's 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 funny every time, like that happens. It always it, it, I hate when it happens like right after I'm done streaming. But generally, it happens. <laughs> yeah. I, I stream late enough that it's not an issue usually. It's kind of like when you get a big raid though, and you're like, ah. Right okay, right. we're hyped, we're ready to go. Right. Let's push the update button. <laughs> and you yeah. were just winding down, you know? Yeah. Yeah, people were like, okay, pop the caffeine. <laughs> Let's go for another 45 minutes at least, an hour. But, but Hinkin, what's Half your bug hour. of the week? And obviously, like, you know, you're Eva Cotty, so don't don't share okay. what you can't don't share. Don't worry. I know, I know. Uh, I have been doing 3A2 a lot, you know, because obviously not everyone... Um, well, you've been streaming, so... Yeah, of course, you know, and I can't stream <laughs> Ivocati builds uh, for obvious reasons. Uh, but one thing I have noticed that, honestly, it's a bug of the week, but has kind of made me a better person, is um, guns disappearing <laughs> after login. You know, oh, my God. All these loadouts, and I'll come in, and every everything is gone. Even, like, certain mags are missing. And I'm like, well, this is annoying. But out of this, I have discovered something. Equip a gun, go do bunkers for, you know, do five or six bunkers with your friends, load up the Carrick uh, weapon with, with uh, all hangers, their guns. Take, take off your guns, and then use those guns. And it's kind of cool because when I'm done using them, I go to the weapon locker, I put my gun away, I go do stuff, and then when something happens, it's kind of getting me prepped cool. for habit, using yeah. uh, the persistent That's inventory cool. where we're going to have to start yeah. doing that. So out of this bug, 
came this sense. new enlightenment, you know. So it is annoying, but I found a work around that. It's a little bit more fun, you know. It surprisingly had a similar effect on me. Uh, but also, do you guys all know how to take guns that you find in bunkers and get them into your persistent inventory? I've uh, done it. Quip, but I, don't equip them? I didn't know do there you was know the, you know the actual procedure that works what? consistently. All right. So what you do is you go you fr you have to have one of your actual you have to have like a couple weapons that you've actually purchased okay right and i recommend them being a different kind of weapon so it's less confusing right like so if you're picking up p4 ars from a bunker don't have p4 ars that you bought because you won't be able to tell the difference on the list very easily what you do is you go with the two slots or one slot available and then in the Moby Glass, you put an actual owned weapon in the same slot. In the process of it swapping out, that one that got swapped out gets added to your persistent inventory and actually will stay the next time you log in. If you just unequip that gun, it will disappear. Uh -huh. hmm. So that's the trick to doing it. So if you just need, but since they're all disappearing, I think this is, and this is the intended mechanic of, of like real persistent storage anyways later. That's, that's the way we found that consistently actually will let you pick up guns. So, but you have I to like have it. purchased at least one real gun of that same size. Like it's gotta be a, you know, not a handgun. Mm -hmm. um, and you gotta go into the Moby glass and swap it into that slot so the the best way is to have a, a piece of armor that can carry at least two guns on the back and then you can pick up two p4 ars and then swap out with them and then those will be available next time so then you just need to stock up on the kind of ammunition for the types of bunkers you tend to hit p p4 and p8 ammo or devastator yeah, exactly. yeah. And there you go. So hopefully that helps you guys. Uh, yeah, I know that's that. helped me a lot because of how expensive it gets to have to constantly buy. I, I got to the point where I was just buying knives and being like, screw it. I'm just going to stab them and I'm going to respawn in my cutlass. <laughs> Thor, thank, you for like the, thank you for the bits and thank you for the follow, uh, Sergeant Savage. Yeah, okay, I can't. Sa Savage Eye. I think that's how you say it. But, <laughs> but yeah, it's... Yeah. <laughs> well, what about you, Gendor, uh, Bug of the Week? So, uh... I mean, the the interesting one, I would say, is... Uh, I've I've worked with a couple people who are encountering their, their mole and prospector being at, like, 600% full. <laughs> and... Just being able to continuously sell from it, and a lot of them have like claimed the ship once they realize that's what's happening. But I know that that is an interesting bug, and I, I as someone who doesn't own any mining ships because I mostly like to murder things, um, I uh, I mostly have experienced that third third hand, you know. Um, I, I will I will also say that when I was playing with modding. Uh, trying to get into the Idris's uh, main area by taking a uh, what was it the uh, the Nox up the elevator from the main hangar in the Idris and trying to get it through the hallways because the hallways didn't have floors was really interesting. The Idris, no, it did not work. But yeah, well, like like I was saying, I I run uh, version three four three in offline mode. Oh. And I'm able to I'm able to pull out the Idris and the Javelin and F8 Lightning in state skinning current models is what he's doing. Yeah, mm. basically they they have those files in versions that I had, and I just I take a backup of every copy of the game that I ever get. That way, if there's assets in there, that I can figure out how to pull those in and like finish out details that are missing that haven't been added by the dev team or whatever to like make them semi flyable. Um, just so I can poke around with it and have fun with things that aren't really in a releasable state, but are entertaining and give me an idea of like, particularly for me, it's really interesting to look at the scale of things together. Right. Cause trying to decide, you know, how many things I can squeeze into the Idris is significant to me. Right. That's that's like as someone who likes to stuff things into spaceships, 
it's all about comparing the scales. And so like when they've, they've had the Kraken models, the exterior Kraken models in the game files for a really long time. So I can, I can skin the Kraken over top of a Gladius and fly it around. Uh, mm -hmm. And then, you know, obviously it doesn't have like all the physics it needs, but I can put a, a hammerhead next to it and be like, cool. It looks like I could fit a hammerhead on these pads. I don't know what would happen if I tried to take off with it on here. Probably bad stuff, but it gives me an idea as, as a Kraken owner in particular, it's like, it's important for me to understand <laughs> why do I, what am I going to be able to do with this $1,600 spaceship that I own? Right? <laughs> like <laughs> these are important questions, important questions. But yeah, that's that was that was my uh, my bugs of the week. Um, how about how about you, Buster? What do you got? It's always funny because I try to think of stuff through this, and it's like I I guess I just don't remember him that well. Um, I don't really have a bug of the week to be honest. I can't think of any like major bugs that I've come across. Um, I mean, one of the bugs that's been annoying me for a while is the bounty collection assessment in uh, Crusader area it never works anymore. Um, you know, so I just go to generally go to Levski to do a pro tem so I can be able to take player bounties from oh, there. Oh, does is it permanent if you do it at Levski? Yeah. Oh, I noticed okay. sometimes. At least it, it has been in this patch for me. Yeah, like I, I've done them and it's lasted for a couple days, and sometimes I've done them once a day. Like yeah, it's, yeah. I did, I did one a few weeks ago, and it's... for me it'll be like every time I swap servers, it's like now you need to do your pro tem, and I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's kind of annoying. But that's really, I mean, that's that's it. I mean, if I think of something else more interesting later, I'll 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 say it, but I can't. It's it's always funny because I I know these things, I know I need to think about these things, but I never remember them. Um, so there's my bug of the week, but, um, that moves us into a real quick moment of the week and moment of the week is just a star citizen related moment that you thought was great this week, whether it was star citizens own content, it was something you did while you were on stream or off stream, or it was something you watched on somebody else's stream, like anything or, or whatever. Um, it, it just star citizen related in general. Um, for me, I'll start us this time. My star citizen moment of the week was their April fool's joke yesterday. The flattening. <laughs> I thought that was pretty funny. I thought that was pretty funny. Hey, there's an org called the Flat Hurston Society, which I think now is going to be empowered. Thanks to that. Person. <laughs> <laughs> they knew all along. The Flat Hurston Society. <laughs> oh man, leave it to the leave it to people on Lorville to not really realize there's space. Uh, yeah, it makes sense. They're all indentured and trapped there. But I'll yeah, like don't take any people out of here without papers. It's like what kind of place is this? <laughs> I know. It's storming here. <laughs> like... I'm sorry if y'all hear thunder. <laughs> um but but I'll i I'll kinda go in reverse order this time. So I'll start with Gandora. Actually we'll start with Hinkin this time, actually. He hasn't started us off. So Hinkin, what was your what was your moment of the week for Star Citizen? All right. So this one blew my mind and I hope I didn't talk about this last show, and I hope I didn't. It's um so I was playing with a couple of friends on a Carrick, of course, Carrick, Carrick. And uh, when we got done playing, I was like, this isn't my ship, by the way. I was like, I'm going to log out on the bed, take the ship wherever you guys want, and mm -hmm. let me figure it out. I logged in like 10 days later on somebody else's Carrick in space, in the bed. It, it blew my mind that they got that type of persistence working. Now, if somebody logs off that ship and you guys step off, it despawns. But the fact that I was able to log out in a bed of somebody else's ship and then log in almost a week and a half later on that ship in the middle of space blew my freaking mind. Everything worked. That's very cool. You know, they're like, they left the gas at zero because they're like, we're going to leave you stranded. But the ship collected hydrogen while it was sitting there. It was up to like 40 something percent when I logged in. Like that to me shows that we're, we're getting so much closer that Dude, type once, of state of once play, eye like, caches in things are going to be so crazy I mean, look yeah, we're absolutely. already kind of getting it you know like yeah that wasn't my out. boat that wasn't my yeah. ship i mm -hmm. woke up in someone else's carrick that you know he's, he didn't reclaim it i was like that to me is amazing like that's yeah, pretty... i remember i remember yeah. the feeling the first time i woke up on a 600 eye that i had stowed away on like a week mm -hmm. later i think it was uh yeah it's 
Like I it can't wait till you, know, you log in and your friends are like, "Oh, you're playing," and then they log in and they log that on your bed. So instead of having to spend an hour going around Stanton picking up your friends, everyone's yeah. on your boat ready to go. And when they're done playing, log out in the bed, and then they're ready. You know, as long as that ship yeah. stays out, so that's gonna be the eventual up. goal <laughs> of the say, game. You know? Would you say you're you're pleased with your boats and your hose? Oh my god! <laughs> Both boats my and boats hose. and my hose. Boats and hose, boats and hose. Gotta log out my boats and hose. <laughs> okay, sorry. <laughs> Why have we not made that SC parody yet? Oh, we got to now. But uh, <laughs> but Ace, what's your moment of the week for Star Citizen? Well, it um, it was uh, yes. When you logged yes. in, <laughs> it was yes. Um, and I'll be right back, guys. Uh, I'm gonna be back right. in a minute. So yeah, that, that was um. All right, see you in a second. Cool. Um. <laughs> so yeah, uh, definitely when I logged in, that was definitely a cool moment. <laughs> uh, but um, <laughs> is that too cruel? I'm sorry. <laughs> it's so true, though, man. It was so frustrating because <laughs> like, it worked. It's it's, it's <laughs> now now I, I do have a I do have a, a more heartwarming moment <laughs> okay, no, that okay. was legit amazing because <laughs> star citizen is only the favorite game of mine that i've dreamed about my entire life you know that that's all it's not a yeah. big deal it's, you know yeah no no it can only be your favorite when it works <laughs> yeah, it, 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 it doesn't matter to me I, I didn't like try to log in every day for the first few days no no never anyway um what my uh, favorite part of the week involving Star Citizen was out of the game. And that was involving my community. Um, of course, you know, the night crew, we have an amazing mutual community here, but of course, as streamers, we have our individual communities. Um, at least, you know, at least uh, we do as far as yeah. I know. <laughs> uh, and so uh, I have a number of people that have drifted away and uh, from Star Citizen. And we, we play other games, you know, like Warframe or, of course, you know, Path of Exile, New Leagues. Very fun, very exciting. Maybe some, uh, you know, Cards Against Humanity, Saturday yeah. nights, you know, all, all sorts of fun community activities, you know. And most of us have known each other for years. I, I, I'm really, really uh, happy um, that we have built this amazing community together. I'm, I'm glad I started it all those years ago, right? And it was just for a couple of my friends. And I'm like, why don't I, I want to have more fun with. Open it up, right? <laughs> with, with really great people. Absolutely. And you get it, you know, you get it. And so uh, last night I, I, I logged in. I haven't been on much. I've been a little under the weather. I finally went to families. I've been feeling uh, quite, quite a bit better. And I'm like, you know, I want to hang out. I want to get caught up. I want to check some messages, maybe jump on Path of Exile for a few minutes, you know. Test out Star Citizen, do a little little arena commander, you know, have a little fun in a free flight, you know, um, just just to, just to relax, you know, and clear my head for a few. And uh, some one of my community members was around, and we ended up talking for a, a good few hours, catching up. And he's excited about Star Citizen. I have another community member that's excited about Star Citizen really excited about all the new mechanics coming in. They've been reading about it. And so the thing is, they're not just lightly interested. They are excited about the news. They're excited about working together as an org in the game, doing some practicing, working together on missions about how to work to get better together as a team. You know? When, really... when Star Citizen gets you, it gets you like, deep and it gets I, you all the way and as as a victim myself yes i i have to say like we're here right like we're we're I, experts yes. on this game <laughs> and I, I think it's starting to catch them it's starting oh, yeah. to catch oh, yeah. my community more and even people that have been hesitant or i have i've won community member and a, a friend ever since the old natural selection two days what my favorite game of all time basically um, of, of that type she's been around for years right and she's hesitant she's not really into piloting she says and i'm like you know you don't have there's to. a there's a lot more to star citizen so maybe next time in the next free flight 
comes by, maybe you can jump on in and, and join us, you know, and yeah. you'll see there's a lot more to Star Citizen um, than a, a couple of years ago when she first played with yeah. us on a free flight event a few years ago. And of course, as we all know, there's been significant changes, right? So that was my excited, amazing moment bringing my community into Star Citizen so they can enjoy it. We can have an amazing, rich experience together mm. as friends, you know? And yeah. so, yeah, yeah. But please uh, go on. I, I'm sure you have similar thoughts and ideas. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. definitely I definitely feel like in the last probably three to six months in particular, they've been pushing out a lot more things that are interesting people yes. who have yes, previously yes, yes. not been interested and Absolutely. i'm really happy with them finally choosing to focus on careers and refinement yes. of the existing gameplay because that is so significant i'm obsessed with spaceships and i will buy more spaceships <laughs> than i ever yeah. need uh -huh. always that's just me but i'm, I'm a pilot right and i'm a commander okay. Okay. i run okay. an org I run large group operations. I stream it. It's like my mainstream game, right? I may be, I may be a variety streamer, but it's because I want to always have a passion and love for this game. So I, Absolutely. I abstain Same. to play it except for on my designated days. Right. right. That way, every time I play it, it's fresh. It's new. It's, it's not necessarily man. the way that I'll, yeah. a lot of other people may do it, but I feel like I'm able to stream this game more consistently by only doing it once or twice a week i Not haven't taken now. a single sure. i haven't had sure. to take a single break from actually playing it but i think i no yeah. matter what because yeah. of the type of person i am i will probably always only do one or two a week of a particular game sure. because sure i i am susceptible to burnout personally Absolutely. so what happened hold on she looks excited I found yeah. my lipstick that I haven't been able to find. Oh my god! Congratulations! I've been looking for this lipstick. I have no idea what that feels like. It's called Lady Danger by Mac. It's wonderful. Lady hashtag, Danger. Hashtag Mac. Yeah, it's a... I can chat. Happy, hashtag <laughs> Mac Danger. So, uh, yeah. for me, I mean, honestly, one of the most pivotal moments was, I obviously I had a lot of fun dicking around with the Idris. And the Kraken. But I think it was really them actually talking about the damage states on the Idris in the latest video being more elaborate. Having yeah. a core damage concept and these outer protection damage concepts for capitals. Particularly as we look into this gameplay changing to the point where this character that I'm flying right now, this is not just a ship. This isn't a fighter. This is my home. Mm-hmm. Right, we have life. I'm expected to put all of my crap in here, including a bunch of expensive suits and guns and ammunition. Hard my food. friends are logging out of the bed so that they can come back in later. If I do not want to yeah. put this ship in a position where it's going to get destroyed, I need to have more time to get away. It may be expensive whenever I get where I need to go. But this idea of basically this one health pool that mm. the right ship can come behind me and hit me with a size 9 or 10 torpedo and I'm done? For anything large and up, that has to go away. Absolutely. Yeah. We, we, we already know that the, in terms of the missile stuff, yeah, that that's going to get reworked. But 100% right on uh, the time to kill. They talked about it. You no, know, uh, even... Yeah. Our, our characters are going to have to go into a down state before dying. Right now, exactly. you, you mm -hmm. jump wrong, your legs get taken out, bam, mm -hmm. you're dead. You know, we, we're going to have a down state. And they already talked about this on ships. You know, there's a reason yeah. the stalker comes with two energy and one ballistic weapon. You know, there's going to be a point where we need to start altering between, you know, I got a shields down, but I'm still hitting them with uh, panthers, but they're not doing anything because I'm hitting the hull of the ship with lasers. Yeah, and it's not it's doing, crap. Not doing need... all... It's yeah. doing something, but not nearly as much as I'd those, like to the, do. Right? Those are coming. You know, it's just. Yeah. And, it's... and so for me, that was a really important moment for them to actually really talk about it that way and talking about how they they've been doing the balancing there because they, they had like the one size nine torpedo splash damage was enough to take out the whole address. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. And so this kind of balancing is going to be really critical. And I'd like to see 
more interesting damage states on all of our really large ships. I understand like the smaller ones, but like in general, time to kill has to go up, but it can it, it could be the same time that it takes to disable. Yeah. Right. Well, we or know cripple. there's a, a slowing coming, you know? So, what, like, right yeah. now, everyone's too used to sprinting and jumping around, you know? Like, they talked about an uh, engineer having to walk. They specifically said walk to fix the oxygen tank. You don't want to be sprinting. You know, you're burning up oxygen. You're burning up your your personal su supplies of your, your stamina bar or your food. You know, you're running in full armor. You know, the, the, everything. Even, even uh, being in New Babbage, like they said in the video that we're going to talk about soon, TM. Um, you know, the train is 20 kilometers away. They don't want you rushing through. You know, this is a sim. You know, you're supposed to take in the environment. Like, imagine how you are in real life. How many times do you guys go to Walmart and sprint to each aisle to get your stuff? You know, like, no one's every running. Every time. You know, every single time. Every time. You know? No, like, literally. There, there is a slowage to me. the game. Yeah, exactly. She will not take me to the grocery store. So I want to do it as fast Hell as yeah, possible. Jacob. Well, I mean, nowadays everybody play probably is sprinting in the grocery store. Every, and, and it's the same hunt. way well, I played yeah, in video games, but 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 I'll have to wear light armor, right? Or exactly. or go like with chicken feet, or, right? or flight suit only. You know, like yeah, don't put on your armor only, until you I'll need be like, it. Exactly. Like, but those balancing you down. factors, <laughs> those balancing factors, they <laughs> exist already in the game, but I, I think that they're yep. definitely going to be extended further mm -hmm. as we go. But I think the main thing is like. Once you have salvage and repair, then it starts to make sense to have your ship in a down state because you could do something about it, mm -hmm. right? Yep. But if you can't fix it when it's a down state, then it's just like a sucks to be you state. Just sit here and wait for a while. But even that would be useful. You could go grab some gear and like have time to escape, right? Like yeah. for the whole concept of these life rafts to work, you have to have some solid time to actually get in engage the ejection on it make sure everyone's on the lifeboats on the 890 or whatever ship you're on right like and this is the concept in all of the larger vehicles all of them have these escape type mechanics and i think it's if you read the the depth of a spaceman and stuff it's pretty pivotal to the way that you're expected to play this long term well but but it's yeah, boring yeah. if you have that in place without actually having the careers that support it so i think that's yeah. what we're not seeing it right now absolutely and like and it, yeah, yeah well it, it, it's like what, what you were saying um and um oh what, what yeah i think it was earlier tonight um uh, about no 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 i think uh, no, never mind this might have been a few weeks ago but anyway um we brought up the point and we actually showed some of the footage actually a few weeks ago as well of the procedural uh damage system that they're going to be putting in and yeah, yeah. how they just did a little glint of, of ships, right? And of armor of every type, suits and stuff like that. Eventually, they want to show procedural damage that occurs. Um, where if you hit a certain area with some sort of you know weapon, it's going to damage that area in a unique way. Unlike, That's sweet. Yeah. And they're going to integrate the armor. They're going to integrate the systems even more so that parts of your ship can get damaged whereas the other parts are working you know the new shield revamp the new shield system and blah 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 right yeah. um that's all coming into play the actual ship itself is going to be an actual ship and meaning if something happens to a part of the ship it's not one giant egg yeah. Right. Where it's just going to just bloop and it's just damaged and gone in one giant health pool. Right. right. And we have sections at least. Right. Exactly. So we do have them split out. But like, exactly. Like, think about these same players that haven't really felt super involved because they don't mm -hmm. like to fly the ship and they just want to, like, they want to do stuff on foot. Right. Sure. sure. Those just are the same players who are going to get right? so excited when we can give them like a repair yeah. tool Absolutely. and be like, Go fix the rear bulkhead. It's about to blow. They were like, yeah, I did a thing today, right? Like, Absolutely. Even better, you know, they've done this so much that, like, say there's a little mini game to repairing the thing that they're specialized, you know, other than, like, say, Ace, I need you to go fix the thing. But it's like, I only turret gun on your ship. And it's like, I don't care. I need you to fix this. It's going to take him longer or be tougher versus yeah. someone who's like, all I've done is repair bulkheads well, for the, six months, the, you know? Even the yeah. previous instruction, yeah. right? I mean, like, Just like me being able to say, hit the rear uh, aft uh, 
or the, the, the aft port bulkhead. He's like, what? That is a skill. Just just knowing where mm-hmm. to go on a particular ship and the procedure yeah. to do for that particular spot is yeah. a skill. And I think yeah. that people are going to become experts on particular ships too, the same way that we are as pilots. We know the heft and the, the feel of the ship. We know where to look for stowaways. We know, you know how much cargo we can carry before we can't get off the ground right Right. like these are things that that we as pilots learn and and i think that other people like the turret operation now that it's starting to get a little bit more enjoyable people are starting to become good at that right like up to this point the hammerhead was really one of the main contenders for that but people got burnt out on it because too many hammerheads for a while right <laughs> and um, right now there's no med base so no one's using them <laughs> right yeah you're like no that's great but but it's still better like it it'd be better to have like a character that follows your hammerhead even if the character is just the pilot in there yeah. and you got the hammerhead that way you've well, got why a why not cut beefy... red? you got two <sighs> repairs they, you know. they blow up easy uh, that is true that right is true. that's uh, like for operations like even though it's inconvenient um, now, now in three nine, I'm told that there's supposed to be a queuing system that they were working on, and that was part of a Q and A. So I think even you Please guys give say the server yes, queues. but yeah. Oh my god! Yeah, but queues, not no queues for the beds. Queues for the beds. Because yes. the issue right yes, now yes. is that if two people have the same bed and they die while another one is yeah. in the bed, Calls then one of you is like, board. "Am I the one who's lucky, or am I waking yeah. up in another in another planet?" Yeah. Right? Yeah, so like in the tough. middle of the sun or at port, right? So yeah, <laughs> yeah, middle of the sun's yeah. always a good time. But Come you, on. um, you, 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 go ahead. But you were continuing, weren't you? I was going to mention something, but. Oh, uh, it was just uh, Jay Kelvin was saying that uh, cargo holds aren't for cargo; they're meant for extra armor and bullets. So, but eighty okay. twenty, I would say eighty yeah, twenty. Yeah. They're, they're, you're still gonna have to, you know, the caterpillar is not gonna be full of food and supplies. Like, you're still gotta make money, man. Like, uh, maybe, maybe it just depends how, how you how play. Many, right? How many boxes of top ramen are you gonna need for, you know, two all days the boxes? Of yeah, all five hundred and sixty-six SCU of food. You know, I know, yes. I, I got you, Jay Kelvin. Yeah, some, some of the storage on those ships are going to be... We're for messing supplies. with DJ. We're messing yeah. with you. you know, for, for instance, the Kraken, you know, I never expect to fill my 3,000 SU of just the stuff to sell. I would never, ever do that. You're going to need parts. You're going to need no, food you, for the crew. You're going to need oxygen. Entirely you know, fill like, it with rum. <laughs> yeah, just the rum. That's it. Just rum. That is right, what I'm gonna Kraken go, I mean, You know what? Hold. Caterpillar Please? full of toilet paper. Yes. Are, yeah, we yes. are talking about Drake. So, okay. yeah. wow. But it doesn't need toilet paper. That's what he was trying to say. <laughs> They're just gonna shit in the halls. Okay, There's let's a just be real. In the cat, okay. <laughs> just yeah, because it's there doesn't flat. mean anyone on your crew crew knows how to use it. <laughs> Which I, I I love Drake. One of my favorites, if not my favorite. You I love it too, but it's because of the blood splatters and the weird lighting and the like. It adds character. Yeah, it's the same reason I love my reclaimer, and people threaten to like say that they want it to be like clean, like the 890 jump, and I'd be like, well, then I would get rid of it. Yeah, like, I mean, you it's have got to add character. character. It's, it's like it's got yes. a history, and they're like, oh, I... now yes. of course. I understand their perspective of like, hey, if I'm saying I've got it new, why can't I add the character myself? I'm like, sorry, it was invaded by aliens and it was also made by the same person who made the ships in the alien movies. I mean, you know, it's all <laughs> repurposed from older ships. So they just put a new sticker on it. It, 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 it is new. It is a, it is a new re- previously <clears throat> alternatively assembled vessel. That came from questionable. That's a that's a good. Uh, I use big cover. big big words. Um, that kind of hurt, but it was worth it because I am talking about <laughs> Those five dollar words. Whoa, five whoa, dollars. whoa! That was wow. only two fifty. Okay, that, that was only that was only two fifty. I don't I don't do those five dollar ones. <laughs> I, that hurts, and I love how I the I love how the well. t- the the twenty five cent word thing has. We've just like kept it up with the current times so that people yeah. wouldn't think it was an yeah, insult. Because yeah. twenty five cent word used people. to mean like you're like super hardcore because mm-hmm. it was by letter count how expensive people, the words were. <laughs> people start expecting things out of it, and you just can't have yeah. that expectations. They 
mm -mm, no, I keep those I keep those expectations low. So it's going to be fine. Kind of like Drake does, you know, very low expectations. And some people are cool with that. You know, reasonable, uh, you know, actual, you know, decent human beings that understand Drake is the way to go. And it, it's, it's, it, it's it's a way of life. And, well, and Calvin, it's, it's not abuse thing. if it's your spaceship. OK, you can pay. I, I like the concept mm -hmm. of freeform painting your spaceship. Yeah, and if you don't want to be or your own. in Kevin's oh. ship with no. all mm -hmm. of the penises on the wall, just <laughs> oh. don't ride with him. Whoa. Whoa, well, the, realistic, mean, like, realistically that's whoa. i mean if they i think that's what he's talking about right if there was true free form you could paint whatever mm -hmm. now if you can just change the colors and i imagine what that's what they'll do is they'll be like cool what color do you want what pattern do you want this room true free form like especially like if when they get the vr working right then but then vr would have an unfair advantage when it came so, to decorating and that, cave that would personally i don't cave think we get free form we did see no. uh, a concept they had of using hex to paint stuff, but it all looked like presets, right? Like, we're going to be able to take a ship from, you know, you buy your Gladys for the first time, and they're like, here's 400 swatches of what you can pick. But once it's there, you're going to have to take it to a custom shop to get it painted. I don't think they'll ever I... let you, like, freeform move your mouse around to you know, draw dick butt. Because pe people what? would draw penises. That's and, why. And not, not only Good that, I, I think in terms of the code, like, they have to, they have to save that type of hex. Like, that that is going to be something tougher to do rather than ha them having an index table of preset uh, Yeah, you know, it's a codes. lot of extra bandwidth to worry Ex about. Exactly. And that's a huge yeah. concern with the optimizations where they're doing. So I think that just having a, a hex table where you basically got some, some byte code for each section that would be super lightweight it's way lighter than the voip and anything else and you could just have that stream in pretty easily and i don't think it would be too difficult because it's it's basically caching to your account and in your hanger and then your hanger can remember what combination it's it's essentially what they already have set up with the customizer if you guys have used that customizer for the 300 series ships but it's just allowing cool. us to basically go in and freeform change it, uh, you know, using credits on planet or whatever. But back to the original point of the cave art inside of a Drake vessel. Guys, we're not talking about paint here. We get out our cutting torches and we cut the shapes into the side of the wall. And that, okay. and that with, with the procedural damage states, that yes. probably is going to exist, yes. right? Like, yes. but then you're just going to have that, you're going to have the crew member who's constantly erasing the dicks. Um, and that's actually their job mm -hmm. because you've got mm -hmm. the captain who's not willing to ban the one person who runs around doing it. Or maybe you're what trying to bridge? catch them. What if, no, let no, no. What if you, let yeah, yeah, yeah. What if you have to like hide? I thought we found a, did you guys know there's like a way to get into one of the component panels for hide and go murder on the Carrick? Oh, yes. there's, there's, a there's yeah, there's there. a lot of good hiding spots, but I imagine like you find a place nearby and you just watch to see who's the one doing it. And then you like go catch them and put them in the brig. That's, that's emergent gameplay. Okay. This is true. <laughs> so on to other more exciting topics, because we could talk about these very intellectual areas. Very intellectual. <laughs> um, all evening. Um, I don't think Buster's had a chance for her moment of the well, week. Well, I mean, she would have probably quite, quite, oh my God, Buster, quite the depth of comments on the, I mean, she already has slight. She already, she's just popping the comments in the chat while we go. <laughs> well, yeah. My my bug of the week. <laughs> uh, I did say my moment of the week, which was the the post by by um, what is it? Uh, Robert Space Industries about flat Earth. Oh, okay, okay, cool, cool. That was so good. God, that was yeah, so funny. That was pretty funny. But but we can <laughs> so move funny. on. Um, so, I mean, we've already kind of been having discussions about other things anyway. But mm -hmm. um, so we kind of started off the show like like Hinkin was very excited about the attachment system. We kind of went over Idris mission progress is something else we have to talk about and Caterpillar prison mission. So I, I want to go back to the attachments, guys. Do you not understand like that new mission we're getting on New Babbage? You could literally put a silencer on a weapon, shoot, shoot. Oh my god, I'm discovered. Switch it out, put a compensator on. Mid fight, instead of opening up your Moby and becoming a vulnerable target, you would literally go into a mode where you can instantly pull your gun out. How, how is this not blowing everyone's mind? Like, 
it's exciting. We're finally well, moving well, away from using the stupid menu that you you yeah. know is locked to your hand. If it's if live any, interaction. So if anybody played Crisis Two, um, not saying it's any way, shape, or form related to the lumber yard <clears throat> uh, engine, um, uh, you know, there's no connection at all through branching <laughs> in history. Um, but Crisis Two had one of the best i i love that game by the way but crisis 2 had an amazing weapon customization and armor manipulation customization uh, uh, system and it was incredible um and so you know not saying that you know lumber yard has any sort of heritage um because you know we don't talk about certain things but um yeah I'm excited that they brought certain um, similar things in, you know? Yeah. Anyway, though, yeah. So as you all know, it's obviously a branch of the of the previous That's engine right. that they started on. And uh, yes, there was sarcasm. Good times. <laughs> I'm really, really, really excited about this customization system. Hank and I, th I think like easier um, access to commonly used functions without having yes. to go in the Moby glass is the main thing, right? Absolutely. More that, especially you're like, in the world, right? Where you're in the world, not yeah. in a menu, right? Things like, things like request, like uh, I, here's a couple of things that I really want to see in the next year that are kind of in the same vein, right? Uh, you know how your key has a button that can unlock your car? We need fobs. Like we need futuristic fobs. Right. Like yes. I need to be able to look at my ship and be like, open sesame or close sesame. Right. Well, yeah. I need, I need the ability to, uh, request landing just as easily as we're talking about these other things. Right. These are common operations that are really cumbersome in the current way yep. of doing things which i think would yeah. be a huge quality of life improvement so, and i think that's the direction we're moving in and i'm really happy to see that and we're probably going to talk about that soon right buster with the new system that they're going to be putting in the new you know inner thought personal inner thought system mm -hmm. was that on the topics i can't we can talk mm -hmm. about it i didn't have it on the topic so this sure. mean we can't talk about Let's, it so and i want to i, I, I want to yeah. address something in chat really quick um of course just because course. i just see something that i thought was interesting jay calvin said i want to see people's names removed from the global chat and global chat be okay. proximity based i don't agree with that jay calvin okay. because sometimes like people can like if 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 global chat becomes proximity based then you'll never see global chat but once in a while, um, okay. I don't, I, think, I don't I think, think that's a good idea. Chat, Do I? I think it should be called system chat, and that when we go to Honestly, another solar system, that it, we should change channels to that systems chat. That's, that's fair, what I think. but I don't, I don't think enough. proximity will work because sometimes people will be in the same server and and like yes. you know like because yes. like how many times do you see in a global chat somebody saying. Hey, I'm having this issue and I don't know what's going on. And then somebody else responds, "Oh yeah, you just do this and you'll be fine now." I, like, I, think though, I think what he's asking for is totally reasonable, though. I'm not saying get rid of it, though. So let's switch global chat to be called system chat when we bring in Pyro, so that it's clear what the need, intent is. I think we'll always right? need a global chat, but I think like you should be able not to display what meshing, channels you it's, want. It's just going to be no. Once we have server meshing in, you're talking literally everyone in Star Citizen just trash talking each other then it needs to go away but right? at the moment it's not that's what at I'm the saying. moment at the, it at makes the very total moment sense. it doesn't yes. make, yeah. it doesn't make yes, sense yes, to get yes. rid of global it's chat. not busy enough Maybe. at the moment to get rid of it absolutely but, but like but having that, having like a million different channels to, to to key into that that to me is just an annoyance on my gameplay i i think that the concept of a local channel that will only show you someone who's within like 10 million clicks of you would actually be pretty valuable um and and you could just subscribe to that channel in the comms menu right that would be reasonable and i don't think it'd be too difficult to achieve they already have a local comm concept that you can go into so they may already have it partially implemented um Hopefully. and then you could just unsubscribe from the global channel like there's plenty of times i have to turn it off because there's a bunch of stuff that i am just really not wanting to see that day there and i run it off like 90 percent of the time yeah so it can get pretty nasty so 
I, I think that it's reasonable for people to not be interested in seeing what's on there, um, given that it's not really a managed communication channel, generally speaking. And yeah. you're talking you're... the whole server. It may not have anything to do with you. I understand that you like to answer people's questions, but like from a regular, like casual player's perspective, sometimes it's just better to have it off. And I, I also, I, wish... I really wish it would stay off when you could turn it off. That's yeah, I hope they fix that. that, that was honestly, if, if that could happen. This new system. I wish it was Comrade range, right? Give us the illusion okay. that our yes, comms yes, are yes. tied to, you know, if when you're in deep space, you're not receiving signals unless they're directly to you for some uh, weird reason. Uh, you know, like, oh, that would be make, you like it. make it I within like comrade range. Someone drops that, the comms. That would actually be pretty cool comms, in an right? actually. Yeah, that, that would be Jake Calvin again, kind of pointed the, that out, too, which the, I can, I can the see that. Local disbanded will probably give people heart attacks for a couple months. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you're like, oh, no. Your comms disbanded. But I mean, like, that's only us, us people who play the game a lot who even know that's a thing to be scared mm. of. That would be super cool, though. Yeah, that's a yeah, really yeah. good point. Yeah. No, I, I think, I think, like, there's definitely there's pros and cons there. And I, I think that really having a, a, a solar system level one especially once we have meshing in and not necessarily for everyone who's playing star citizen everywhere like we're not going to care what's happening over in odin if we're all the way over here right exactly. like yeah like oh yeah someone's angry at odin because there's a pad rammer and then the pad rammer is yelling back well i'm in jail now you jerk right and then <laughs> did you guys see that they uh they were I, that was something I saw in patch notes that I was very excited about that they uh, they made it so that immediately after uh, someone pad ram someone else that the pad rammer would uh, have their ship put into a, a state like they'll get sucked into the station and their ship will have a fine on it that they have to pay to be able to pull yeah, it out it again. Gets, it, like what that. is it? It gets impounded. Yeah, it gets impounded. I'm like, thank you. <laughs> It's almost like a tire locker clamp. Yeah, yeah, control, exactly. Right? Yeah, it's like oh, Lord, <laughs> too funny. Uh, little yeah. things like that. Little things that that will make people's lives better. That's well, that's speaking the stuff of that, that's really good to see. Speaking of yes. that, let's move into what Ace wanted to talk about: the inner thought system. Yeah, inner thought system. Yes, 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 yes. So why don't you so, start us one, off with this the one? I have Ace. to be, be careful on. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> I. Yeah. Me, yeah. If you want to yeah. refrain from speaking on this, Hinkin, you're totally what. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna. I don't I'm, know what I can talk about here. I'm gonna talk about what they have shown and what they've talked about on Spectrum, right? And we, ab, we need a better way to interact with the verse, right? So just like what has been mentioned, we need key fobs. We need a way to don and doff or you know take on and off our helmets we need a way to interact with our world and our person and so this new system it's going to be clunky just like everything is at the beginning and it's just going to get refined as time goes on so i think it's an excellent start i was really disappointed um hearing that certain features won't be in immediately, but they eventually will put them in like taking on and off the helmet and other various things. Um, but that that's coming and hopefully um, they're going to put a key fob in as well. Right. So you can uh, open and close or at least unlock the ship uh, yeah. for you for, you know, and, uh, and all that good stuff. Uh, but yeah, actually opening up doors totally. And I think, like they mentioned, when you're up close to things, you'll have certain context, right? So you're close to a door. You can quickly open the door because that'll be an option right there on the first um, first layer of the ring or the first layer, right? Where it goes into what what do they say? Like Like only like, yeah, like each layer has up to maybe what five to seven options at the max and it only goes like three layers deep at the max and then they tried to minimize that even right and so what what did he's the kelvin say in chat guys to me um uh, interaction will stay as it is stuff. <laughs> his uh inner thought could destroy the need for physicalized panels yeah yeah yeah, yeah absolutely 
Um, yeah, and, and that's the thing, guys, as well. I've noticed a lot of people have been mixing up because they haven't uh, mixing up what SIG's intention are. You know, so uh, this is adding on to what the systems are in the game. They're not taking anything away. They're not going to be forcing you to necessarily use it. It's a quality of life option for now, at least. Maybe they're going to change it in the future. They so took our features. They for... took out they <laughs> took our key bindings. They took well, out. I, I feel like they'll be able to physicalize things in a more natural way. Uh, just too. like the, the panel. Just like right? look at the Carrick, right? The Carrick is a there really good go. example of the direction that physicalized buttons and panels Absolutely. are going to be going. And Absolutely. those are getting more in depth, not less in depth. Um, but there are these things that we do on a regular basis, which should be easier and more convenient. If it's not something you'd be willing to deal with in real life today, 900-ish years in the future, why would we be doing it in a more clunky way, right? Like, uh, I'm, yeah. I'm not – Yeah, I'm bothered when I have to go turn my key in the car – because I have that convenience and most of us have had that convenience. So the idea of not being able to look at my spaceship 900 years from now and say, open, right? And then say, close everyone. Like they loaded their vehicles. I'm over there paying the impounding right. bill or whatever, right? Or like loading up cargo still and handling that transaction as the pilot mm -hmm. I, and owner of the ship. I need to deal with stuff, but I can look out the window and be like, cool. My buddy's out there. He's saying, open, open, right? Like, or maybe I need to lock it down further, right? Absolutely. In fact, like these, these are simple functionalities that that inner thought is going to deal with, which, which isn't able to be addressed in any other real way other than this whole like line of sight or proximity based uh, consideration. And, and yep. we've been using the Moby glass as a crutch for a lot of this stuff, mm -hmm. which yep. it's a, really uh, all interferes in one, right? with the experience. Yes. It's an right? all in one and it, that needs to be, uh, simplified and more intelligently uh, spread out and integrated and, and just add simplicity into the game. Ease of use, right? As they refine things and make it better and better and better. Right. So, yeah, you're, you're right. You are right. So yeah, I, I'm, I'm excited about it. I'm really, really excited to be able to take on and off my helmet very, very quickly. Um, and I still want to use the panels. I still want to push all the buttons, flip all the switches when I'm when I'm getting in and out of my Gladius still. And eventually they're going to be adding that to all of the ships, all of the panels, all of the you're going to be interacting with the verse, with your virtual hands. Your character is going to be pushing buttons. Just like when you get in the Gladius and you, you know turn it on you 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 go through a animation of flipping and pushing all of the shinies on the panels right and that's super cool and the blinks and the blinks so all the shinies and all the blinking you gotta love those this is official star system terminology please <laughs> take notes 100 all the shinies and blinks 100%. will be functioning as intended yes Absolutely. Absolutely. And all, of course, all the fidgety things too, you know, and um, you, you can't get too lewd. I mean, I, I know you have a special attachment to your ship, everybody. I, no judgment. I know I sure do. But, um, <laughs> you know, that's, you got to have some private time. You know, it's good stuff. Good stuff. Anyway, um, you know, I mean, what, what are multi-tools for when you're trying to do the special repairs? You know, just saying. Um, okay, that was lewd, Ace. That was lewd. Calm yourself. It, it's it, it Star Citizen, and you may have a special kind of something, something, but these people understand it. You don't need to go into uh, detail. So they have their moments of you know time. I love Star Citizen, uh, and I love me being a weirdo. I fit right in, right, guys? Okay, so um, one of us. Yes, yes. So yeah, good times, guys. I'm not um, even sure where it was going with half look, of those. I feel look, like I haven't been look at Jay awakened Mitch. enough. I've been married 13 oh. years and I must have missed something. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm like, what do you mean? Like, 
like the spaceship talk and the fidgy wigs and the wiggle wombs and the all right you gotta, go on. You gotta and just like jay mitch said that was almost bg i know i know almost I, yeah he's like I oh this is there. getting really bad i'm like what is i went there talking about you know <laughs> it, 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 it is the night crew and we we have special connections with star citizens so there you go we love Star Citizen and all the special weird ways. <laughs> <sighs> I love okay. being a weird nerd. All right. So anyway, I'm looking forward <laughs> but, to the interaction. But we digress. <laughs> but we digress. So yeah, I'm looking forward to interaction system. I'm looking forward to uh, <laughs> uh, I, I, yeah, I, I'm looking forward to it. Just quality of life stuff. Quality For me, the Prowler is still one of the main things I'm looking forward to. I understand there's all these other quality of life so type beautiful. things in there, but like, I just, I really want to be in an alien spaceship that's worth something other than the Defender. They've my my glaive has been a piece of trash for so long; it's depressed me. And I, as someone who like really likes that gameplay of, hey, I need to go drop a bunch of people off to go do some killing. Uh, it's definitely the kind of ship for me. I would say that like now, especially at its cost of $425, it seems like maybe it's a ship that should have a bed in it, but, um, <laughs> such as life, such as life. Or it go. works right. What? Or that it works right. You know, for that price, you know, you're paying for yeah, an exotic, yeah, exotic hopefully. ship. Yeah. We're going to see, like, we're going to see, I mean, I, it's not going to work when I first get it and I won't care. I'll just be so happy to be in it. Right. That's just the reality of it for me. I just, I know that it'll get some love at least. And, and my hope is that it will be worth the 425 for it. Right. That it will be able to do a, a good job. <laughs> it doesn't have a spot for, you know, land vehicles or anything like the Valkyrie. So it's really got to have an edge as far as a dropship capability goes to make it make sense to be such a high price for what it does. All right. We're talking dropping 12 people, but the, uh, it took, I mulled over it for like a straight year as to whether or not I should get it. But I realized that it really was the dropship for me because of my play style. And because I'm a little alien ship fame fanboy, and like I prefer those like weird, visceral, not quite normal type of ships personally. Um, but there are definitely some drawbacks to it for sure. Like, wh what are your guys' thoughts on the Prowler? I, like, you guys have all heard me fanboy I'm over it, but like, I'd, I'd love to know from someone else. Now that I know that we can have something with that type of display, I want to see that in other ships. Like. Sure, sure. That is going to be, you know, imagine the, uh, you know, like the battle bridge and the 890 where you can't see anything. Imagine having a screen come up to give you a view of what's going on outside. Like the fact that they could do this is perfect. And then a second thing is what's going to happen when that ship gets CMP'd? How is that going to affect your sight? Absolutely. Are those screens going to flicker? You know, maybe there's I, a little I, panel I did a good that you job can with open it. up. You, you're yeah. right. You're right. And also, guys, I kind of was, I kind of got, off track before talking about the inner thought system I, I, I kind of hogged it because i was trying to be silly and have fun and i didn't let you guys really go in depth about interaction and stuff like that so buster um hank and, and if you guys had any input into the inner thought system actually interacting with the universe i'm on the show here. every week i i i've 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 shared my thoughts on the inner thought system yeah i, th I felt right. i felt like right. we covered it pretty in depth and, and, and yeah gandor yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. You, you definitely did but so, I kind of, I, I was being no, silly and trying to have fun. And I, I felt like I didn't. Don't apologize for making jokes and having a good time. No, man. no, I, I never good. apologize for that. <laughs> so, yeah. So, but, yeah, good, not good ours. Not ours. And all. I, I'm hyped for all the ships all the time. Come on now. Yeah, no, but what are you looking forward to with the Prowler? Like what's, what are the things that differentiate it from your perspective that make it an interesting What's going to make that ship an interesting, unique experience from your perspective? Or is it not one you're really looking forward to? That's a totally no, valid yeah. answer. There's plenty uh, of people I know who have that answer, and it's it saddens yeah. me to uh, I, uh, to hear it, but it's true. <laughs> um, I, first of all, in, in chat, yes. Also, with the key binding ability, I love that the inner thought system or the personal inner thought system, right? 
allows you to key bind right there on the fly. Boom, bam, done. And I think that is an amazing quality of life thing as well. But yeah, going back to the Prowler, I'm, I'm excited about it. I, I don't own one, but um, but we as a fleet, my community does. And of course, I have friends and you know some of you guys might have one. So I might have to hitch a ride and hang out with you, right? Yeah. Um, and so I, I'm excited about it. Um, I decided to focus on our org uh, role for what I'm building in terms of my personal fleet also yeah. is our main core but having a prowler around psh, i it's, would not complain it is it's really, definitely a specialty ship absolutely right? and i think that's why i mauled over it for a long time personally just just because spending that much on a spaceship you want to make sure it's something you use it like the, the rule i have yes. for myself is yeah, yeah, yeah. if i'm not personally going to fly it i have no business having it in my hangar yep likewise Yep. And, it, right. it, and well, no, no, I, I, it's a little more for me and I'm sure you're similar. Maybe not though. Um, if, of course, <laughs> if, if I have to have fun with it, right. I have to get some enjoyment out of it, but then that's star citizen. I love everything about it for, you know, come on, but still, yes, I have to get some enjoyment and it has to serve a purpose. And this is me putting some sort of limit. Um, serve a purpose for my personal, you know, my org, right? Yeah. And it has to serve a purpose for the org. Otherwise, I'd just buy all the ships and I would buy no other game and put all of them, everything into Star Citizen. And that's just silly, you know, for me, because I, I, it's that amazing of a game, you know? So yeah, yeah, it has to serve a purpose and I have to have fun. So yeah, I hear you, man. Yeah, I think it's like for me, like even though the freelancer keeps being meta, I have bought it and just gotten rid of it so many times because I just hate it. I right? just go Max, with the Cutlass. Max, no, like, no, no. Just go with Max. Cutlass. Listen, no, Cuddy no. Black was my all-time favorite ship, and still, absolutely, in my heart is like my first love. But absolutely. you know, the Max can fit a P seventy two. You can fit. Yes, it can. It's so cool. Anything man. into the that Max. Ship. So it's, cool. It's the, the Max the is awesome. Twenty seven like, foot U haul truck, like. Yeah. So I, I guess it's the yes. same thing for me it's though. Weird. Like because of the way I play, I can't get joy out of that. Despite the fact that logically it's a really good ship in every mm. way. I just don't enjoy its maneuverability and its look and everything. So oh, yeah, as, a, like a as someone who's primarily a pilot and likes kind of zippy ships, I'm unable to enjoy playing it. And so, cause like for me, if I'm going to play in something slow, I'm going to be flying the Carrick or the Caterpillar or uh, Kraken or Polaris. Like something that's the reason it's slow is it's huge. And I'm okay to get over that. But like smaller things for me, they just have to be fast. I, yeah. And hit, I mean, I've been doing this for years now. And they, like every time I try and fly a Freelancer Max and load it up with cargo, I crash into an asteroid. Hmm. Like, I just, I'm just like, okay, cool. Go. Like I, I always fly completely unlocked. I never, ever fly a ship in, in some kind of safety zone. I'm always in the red. So flying cargo ships for me is super, super dangerous. Yeah. I'll just right. say that. Right. Um, Speaking of but, dangerous, like Masocast mentioned about the lore, going back to Prowler real quick. Absolutely. Those Taveran strike teams and everything to put the fear into the UEE, you know, or whatever it was UEE, right? Yeah. Anyway, yeah. Um, back then in the first and second Taveran war, but yeah, anyway, I think they were supposed um, to have the best shield tech at the time. Yeah. Right? yeah actually, and that they was the, 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 the their, um, yep. the FPS guys. Like that's what we're talking about. Like they're, they're super cool. even their personal shield yeah, exactly right? yeah like that was that was the Tavarin's like main thing and, and so mm, they're so yeah it's it's, awesome. it's interesting oh i love it this, I love the this idea this idea of shields that can act as ways to keep your air inside too is really cool absolutely because that's going to be yeah. a big weakness have you guys seen those animations of the people flying out of the cutlass black while they were testing <laughs> explosive decompression <laughs> a year ago that that's coming amazing. it's going to be in the game explosive decompression so is going to be an actual thing in the future they've been working with it it's just they need to get the physicalized inventory stuff fully fleshed out and then 
at some point in the future, one of the ways you're going to be able to get rid of people is to Blow say, open, open all hatches there in the back. Screw it. We'll lose the cargo back there, but let's open the rear and toss out these invaders. And if they don't have their mag boots enabled, which did you get, uh, like, you guys saw that on the roadmap when they first had the Prowler on there, right? It was paired with mag boots when they first had it on the roadmap last year. Hmm. So the intention is essentially you have a spaceship that has hover mode capability that it, and it was designed lore wise to be able to hover across large capital vessels. There you go. And, and have people them. jump yeah. out of the capital vessels with mag boots on and stick to the outer surface of a capital ship. And then you have your prowler just disappear stealth. So no one even knows Ooh. there's a strike team going to invade a capital ship. And that's why ships were lost and nobody knew what happened until much, much later, if at all. Exactly. Just and ghost that, it. Just ghost that it. gameplay is so, yeah. the kind of gameplay I yes, really, dude. really want to keep on doing. It's the kind of stuff that we try and do in events. Um, so, and having more of that actually built into the way the gameplay works is going to be pretty significant for me. How about you, Buster? What are, what are your thoughts? Besides questions, because it's 22. Just saying. Um, I like the Prowler. I think uh, yeah. artistically, it's 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 CIG's greatest achievement in ships um, awesome. from an artistic standpoint. I think awesome. I think that the art the artistry of that ship inside uh, is is fantastic. Uh, and I think outside it looks all right. You know, I'm not like I. One of the things I've commented on is it's so red on the inside, yet it's just like black on the outside. I would like to see a little more color in it, but uh, overall, I just I just feel it's a very artistic ship, and I'm I'm interested in giving it a go uh, in a PTU build at some point, like because I'm I'm not going to be buying it. I've seen I've had I've seen more streamers, especially recently, like especially after that. Um, that like the last couple ISCs where they showed it off a little bit, like in like a few weeks ago, there was one. And I've seen more streamers in general just saying, uh, I wasn't going to get this, but now I want this. Now I'm going to see what I can melt to get one. Because it seems to be like that ship that everybody like was sort of like, yeah, it sounds cool, whatever. And then like when they were shown it, everybody was like, I want this now. And I don't know how many will actually cockpit, last. To be though. I don't know how many will really last because it's a lot to put into a ship. And I see this with all these, like I, Basically, what I saw with the Carrick, same thing. Everyone melted a ton of stuff to get a hold of a Carrick, and then they were super annoyed that all their friends had Carricks. And then they were like, screw it, I'm melting it again, right? And so fundamentally, this behavior that you see in this game is that everyone wants the new shiny. All the streamers have to show the new shiny, and everyone wants to talk about the new shiny. But You're ultimately, right. you kind of you kind of settle into the things you really love. Like I still love my Vanguard. I still love my Saber, right? Like, yeah. and fundamentally, I'm gonna fall into one of these fighter ships on a day to day basis. I'm gonna want to jump into my Hurricane and have someone jump in the turret and go around and have fun with that, right? Like, I personally, I'm usually gonna be in a ship that has a medical bed or a super nimble fighter ship right now in the way the game is currently. And then as the game progresses and changes, we're going to stick with things that we like. Like I have some people in my org that, that like they really only like to shoot guns. So they tend to stick with smaller ships so that they can get to your big ship. And then once there were more ships that they could dock on, I noticed that they actually, they were like, oh, the 300i doesn't fit in as many things. So they melted it and got a Pisces because the Pisces could fit in more ships, <laughs> right? And, right. and right. because it, it's feeding this behavior of, I don't actually want to fly, but I understand the convenience of being able to get somewhere without you coming to pick me up and me looking like a baby. All right. So, and, yeah. Uh, and Singelian, oh. yes. Uh, Singelian say. It will have a med bed, the Kraken. They're talking yeah, yeah. a little bit in chat there. So, yeah. yeah I think it will have one. probably a, a tier they've, three, maybe, maybe tier two. They so. they like they originally said it wouldn't, but yeah. And and you got to remember, though, with all of those hangers, you could just put a cutlass red in a side hanger. Even, even its internal hangers are big Apollo. enough for it. Apollo. 
Apollo would have to go on the top. Good enough for me. Yeah, yeah. But you could totally put it on there, right? And, um, okay, okay. Uh, Kate, Kate XN was talking about, wanted to talk about how important it is to have people working out in the gym. I look forward to coming in the gym and having a bunch of creepy people just standing there looking at me. That's what I'm expecting. <laughs> but if I actually see them working out, that will be cool too. My, my issue is like, I hope that they're improving the NPC system so that it doesn't feel like I'm in a super creepy zombie flick where you're like, okay, when are Being they going to pounce at me? So I do, I do like standing on a chair next to a female NPC and having her side eye me like, what are you doing here? <laughs> so I, she's here. like, wait, wait, you're not an NPC. I'm supposed to stand here. <laughs> <laughs> like, have you guys noticed that where they'll like look at you all weird? So when you yeah. get close has an awesome clip where he sat down and like was talking to her, and then she like got up at the best time. <laughs> yeah, Buster knows what I'm talking about. Yeah, she's like, she's like I'm done. <laughs> I tried to ignore you this whole time. You're not taking a hint. Uh, well, Buster, it's quarter two. What do you guys? Well, if chat has any questions to pose to the panel, that would be great. Um, we've got we've got it like like you said about fifteen ish minutes left, so we can probably take two or three questions with how much these guys talk. So <laughs> what? What? we're a chatty bunch, okay? Yeah. So exclamation point question, but really you just need to put the word question in brackets. That's all it really yeah. is. It just tells you that so that it's easy to spot. Um, while we're streaming and stuff, but yeah, we've, we've got a couple minutes. We basically got 10 minutes to take questions because of the last five minutes I dedicate to everybody kind of plugging themselves and whatnot. So, so if you'll have anything to ask, please, then I was the time to ask. How would you, okay. So Galleon asks, how is this the game door specifically? How would you solve uh, player money transfers? Okay. So currently the best way to do it is transport beacons but it is pretty inconvenient. I think that a simple ability to just say, you know, I want to go to my, um, I want to go to my wallet and have a transfer button and then find someone on my friends list and give them money or on the server, at the least, you know, best way. I, th I think that it should just be able to be on my friends list that way. That way, if we do a mining mission all day and, and I wrote down on my whiteboard, who all was participating and how much I owed them at the end of the session, I could deal with it. The problem we have right now is it's so inconvenient that most of the time, these people who are running these events end up looking kind of like a-holes because they don't ever get around to paying the people. Yeah. And it really frustrates them, but at least then someone could remind you later. And it doesn't mean you have to both get on the game at the same time and both go to the same location, have someone get in your ship, have them spam on the key to collect it. Something well, simple like that, do, where do it's just like waiting like for you. World of Warcraft, where if you did something for someone, you could send them money in the mail. It'd be kind of cool if you could do that. Kind of send like, hey, I have a an email with uh, electronic funds right. attached to it for the you. The problem, like, and I'll, I'll, I'll be the devil's advocate in this discussion because you brought up World of Warcraft. Because I, I think it's all like great solutions, but the problem is, is look at World of Warcraft. Remember what happened back in the day? I'm not sure if it's still happening. The gold happened. farmers. The gold farmers who literally get people to pay them money to farm gold in game and, and give to them. The problem mm -hmm. that comes with that, obviously, is people can sit there and farm credits, find ways, basically go earn credits, go farm credits in Star Citizen, and then get paid to, to transfer that to other players. And I don't think that's something that Robert Space Industries would want happening. But they're already yeah, well, be in, selling in, credit for the real money. In, in terms of defense right. of that, you know, Warcraft lets you play for free. You know, it's these free-to-play games up to level 20 or whatever. So people who were gold farming were making these new accounts and doing that. To play Star Citizen, you got to spend money. So if people want to gold farm and get their accounts banned over and over and they're dropping yeah. $45 at a that's time. That's a lot of money. To, I'll to take it. Say. You know what I mean? That's some no, development And, and like money. Gandora pointed out, I mean, they the, RSI does sell on the website. They already sell credits for real yeah. money. And the thing is, 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 it, is it kind of the question I'm posing is, is first, like, should CIG even do that? And secondly, um, and especially when the game's released, I don't think you, I hate when games give you the option to buy in game money with real money, because then it, it creates like that, that weird precedent that yeah. like, you know, people who have a bigger bank account can just, you know, they can go buy a million win. credits for the, however much money. 
and they can just, yeah, they can pay to win. That so, to me is a pay to win situation. And I just don't think, I think that's something that CIG is going to have to look at in, in a way that, you know. So, so there's a couple of things. Okay. First of all, this game is different in regards to the way it treats its assets. And we're going to have to be ready to deal with that. The fact is that I have spent thousands, thousands of dollars on digital assets for this game. I have sunk more money into this game than I have sunk into any other game. If you don't count hardware and stuff, right? Yeah. Right. Right. So I think it's okay. I also purposely avoided this game for many years until I was in a financial position that I could afford it. And now that I'm a full-time streamer, I can no longer buy spaceships. The spaceships I buy come from my streaming revenue at this exactly. point. Right. And I have to budget it, but I think that it's no different. If someone wanted to blow thousands of dollars on UEC and then put it in a cargo ship and lose it all in one day, that's fine. That's their call, right? Yeah. It's a matter of we are choosing to trade our time in different ways. Some people simply cannot afford to grind out 3 billion credits to get that spaceship and maybe they're not interested in any other spaceship. The way that this game balances out pay to win is when you have an Idris, you are totally useless. You're I'll be very protected if you're just a pilot alone. Right? right? And that is how this balances out. And the more you play alone, the more expensive your life is. There will be some people who hate other people and they just want to hire NPCs and they still don't like things that make money and they will hemorrhage a lot of actual real world money into the game. What needs to happen though is that the value slash cost of those credits has to actually be part of a market so that you have a market value of it. If it's a pure fixed market value, they're always going to be encouraged to make it really hard to make money in game. And I'm worried about that. If it's always $5 for 5,000 credits and they're just fixing that, right? There's a big concern, first of all, that it will deflate in value. But second of all, that you will inevitably end up with people who find ways to make more money faster and sell it separate from that. And then that money doesn't inflow into CIG. If CIG wants to capitalize on the market of people that will inevitably buy gold, like they do in WoW, it's always going to happen. The whole yeah. reason that they're choosing to do this is so they can control the market. It's the same thing that happens with, you know, illegalizing drugs and stuff versus choosing to sell those legally. And then you have control, right? right. So if CIG basically does something similar to what Eve does and stuff where they have a fair market value for their credits, then they can stave off the problems by balancing in-game incomes, banning people who are breaking the terms and conditions and selling things at a price that is reasonable for the economy in game. But those things have to happen together to stave off those separate problems. I still think that my ability to transfer even a billion credits to one of my friends is not an exploit. It may not be a wise decision personally, but if I have a billion credits and I want to give it to them. Now, if I had acquired those through an exploit, that's a big concern. Mm -hmm. And that is a reason we keep on having to get wipes and we'll have to keep on getting wipes in long term until they monitor each of our in-game transactions and then can identify the ones that were related to a bug, wipe those, and then wipe any excess that we had transferred off to other people that we couldn't have afforded. So you may find yourself in the future, hopefully, if they fix this correctly, hit by saying something where like you had a you had a transfer from, from one of your buddies who had who had exploited and got a billion and they gave you a million and then you bought you bought a bunch of stuff, but then you end up with a negative credit balance because, right? right? And that's the way they'll have to balance it out without mm -hmm. like banning everyone involved. Because you, at a certain point, the money is laundered out. You can track it all, but like, and they, there are, 
think about it. There's going to be people who go out and like they they like buy a bunch of in-game components and then like put them on a ship while, from their buddy and then their buddy goes and sells those components, right? Yeah. Like there's a lot of hanky janky stuff that's going to come when we get fully physicalized and we're going to have to get used to that. That's a, that's mm -hmm. part of the economy. I mean, I guess part of the way it can also be controlled is the dynamic, like you kind of said in the dynamic con economy, like, you know, uh, you know, I go sell layer night at, at like Hurston, it's worth more than it would be like if it was in pyro or whatever system, because, you know, yeah. different systems have different needs. And so that's hopefully, you know, that's hopefully going to be part of it is like the truly dynamic economy. Like if, and if, if like, you know, like player A went and sold a crap ton of Laranite to a specific base or place, and then player, you know, player B comes in trying to sell the exact same thing to the exact same place, it's not going to be at the rate that the other the guy got it because the other guy got it when it was in greater demand. And then now it's like, it's like that's the whole supply and demand thing, you know, capitalism, yada, yada. But like, you know, the, the price of things go up and down depending on how much it's needed and how much it's not needed. So, but we are, we are at a point, I think, where we got to start wrapping up the show. And, uh, I thank you guys for being here tonight. Um, Sorry, Thank you for having us. Yeah, I agree with you, Massacast. I'm sorry, I'm reading your comment real quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, but everybody, thank you again, guys. Thank you so much for, for such a great show tonight. And uh, I'm going to kind of go through each one of you. I'll start with Gandora. Gandora, tell the people who he is, what you're about, and where to find you, please, and thank you. I'm Gandora Olap. I stream on twitch.tv slash Gandora Olap. I run the Super Friends. I'm also a member of the Night Crew. Uh, though I'm on probation because I'm new, uh, and uh, you can reach me at twitch. T or like uh, Twitter. Dot whatever com slash Gandora Olap, and then Facebook slash Gandora Olap, and uh, I'm still not on all the other platforms, but those are the places you can get me. And uh, you should definitely go to those places, and we should play video games together, and uh, and we can gripe about stuff, and uh, and all that it'll be fun i want to fly spaceships with all of you guys every one of you okay <laughs> and it's gonna be awesome hinkin what about you buddy hey guys i'm uh, primarily a star citizen streamer i have been doing a little more uh diversity in my streams uh since the covid19 thing you know getting other people into the channel playing different games uh but mostly star citizen um i am doing a show tomorrow called the late night crew show with galleon here which will be in game actually, which is going to be even better part where uh, we discuss a couple of things. Star Citizen, we have a uh, you know I'm not going to spoil too much without telling you guys uh, what it's all about. Uh, but come check that out tomorrow. Uh, Seg will be hosting that. And uh, yeah, I just got back to full time streaming. I did take a small hiatus from Christmas. Uh, you know, I had to do a couple other jobs. But now that we're quarantined at home, what better time to stream full time? <laughs> Right. <laughs> so come check me out. You know, you guys can see the energy is pretty high. I literally been teaching people how to play. I have four people from the free to fly weekend uh, that actually bought the game and I've been showing them around the last two weeks. So, you know, my time has been split up between playing the game, streaming it and then teaching people how to play, which let me tell you, will teach you how patient you are. Uh, you have to go through all the controls. But... You should ask Andorra about about uh, what was his, what's his name? I've. I've... Well, you're thinking it's, Zimper, but yeah, I've, Zimper. I've, uh, I've trained, I try and do like the beginning of my uh, Tuesday streams as like, mm -hmm. a, hey, you're new to the game, come, I'll train you up uh, pretty regularly. So I've, uh, yeah, I've learned to find Zen, but you you learn so much more. You learn a lot. By teaching people, because you, they ask these questions, and you're like, oh shit, I've never thought of that. Let's see. <laughs> right? Like, <laughs> it's pretty cool. And uh, yeah, wh what about you, Ace? Thanks, Hinkin. Also, um, what time is that show you guys are going to be doing approximately? Uh, 9 p.m. Eastern time, I believe. Tomorrow. So correct right. me if I'm wrong. Yeah, tomorrow. tomorrow. Friday, 9 p.m. Eastern, 8 p.m. It's our new Central. Friday night show, yeah. Mm -hmm. It is awesome. We're going to do it in-game. I'm going to actually be spending the after this show till tomorrow shopping for clothing so I look proper on this in-star citizen lore show. But you guys are going to love it. It's going to be beautiful. Oh, good job getting dressed I, up for I, this I one. Jeez. It. Wow, I wore a black v-neck, okay. Whoa. And, I, and I did my hair. I, okay, first of all, we're not going to talk about that. I do have a standing desk. 
Okay. But no just one don't can walk see away, right? Down. Just walk sideways. I can never do it. I my office. I have to walk outside. It'd be really weird mm. if I went out of my boxers and got strained. But Ace, what about you, buddy? All right. Thanks, yeah. Buster. Um, and yeah. So anyway, um, and thank you, Calvin, for doing that for Gandor and and uh, and me. So good stuff. For that follow. Um. Anyway, um, and thank you guys for the follows coming in. Wow. Okay, very cool of you guys. For all of us supporting the whole team here, it means a lot. Every single one of you in chat. And, um, thanks again, team. Appreciate you guys uh, being here, and I'm happy to be a part of things. But, yeah, guys. Hi, I'm a psycho. I'm, uh, I'm a bit of a variety individual, um, but I love, 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 love sci-fi and games involving sci-fi. And um, and city builders and col colony stuffs and um, builders and and strategy and tactics and just all sorts of fun times, especially with friends, right? So yeah, guys, um, my community the association, uh, we're a warm, welcoming community, and we have an Oregon Star Citizen and, like I said, a wide variety of other games that we're involved in. So you're welcome to stop on by, hang out with us. Uh, we do uh, daily hangouts and activities. Somebody's usually around um, throughout the day, just hanging out, playing a game. Looking forward to seeing you if you want to stop on by. Um, stop by my Twitch page, follow the Discord link, and say hi. It'll be good to see you and uh, get to know get to know you. And, uh, heck, maybe even make a new friend, right? So that's how we like to run <laughs> that's what it's and, all about. and do things. Absolutely. So, yeah, guys, um, I have been a bit under the weather um this year over the past number of weeks um but you know on, on you know, continuing to make good progress and so i haven't really been streaming on the regular but i have been active behind the scenes i have been doing uh some um teaching i've been helping some of my community members and some friends um uh start their own streaming uh ambitions so that's been extremely exciting uh so yeah um i've been doing a bit of that helping people get their streaming um life up and operational god help them and um yeah so it's it, it's really really great um so yeah i am looking forward to doing a bit of streaming over the next few days uh and when i do stream it's going to be um on a on a well when i stream on a regular basis it's going to be probably tuesday uh thursday saturdays mornings and afternoons eastern time um you probably between nine and one and then three and six, give or take. It used what to time be, zone? Uh, Eastern time. So okay, cool. yeah, whenever I talk about time zones, guys, it's going to be Eastern time. Just to keep it simple, right? For, for me, that's usually when and I me. talk about times. Um, <laughs> no matter if I'm visiting family in another time zone or not. But anyway, um, yeah, guys. Hi. Again, I'm a psycho variety streamer. Looking forward to seeing you. I'm a, I, I have a, an amazing community that's warm and welcoming and looks forward to having you stop by, guys. So, yeah, good stuff. Appreciate you. Right on. Thank thank you, Buster. To you, Buster. And yeah. thank you, Buster, for all you do as well. Oh, you're welcome. It means a lot. Um, and thank you, guys, for being an amazing team. Thank you. So, uh, I'm Buster Destroyer. I play Star Citizen a lot. Um, Tuesdays, I, I tend to play on Tuesdays. Wednesdays, I play Pulsar, and then maybe a little Star Citizen after. Thursday nights, I do this. And then about an hour after this ends, I stream more Star Citizen. And then on Saturdays for this this coming weekend and the one following, we have the two episode, the two final episodes of the first season of Star Trek Vasquez going on, which is, for those of you who aren't aware, um, Star Trek Vasquez is, uh, we play, it's a tabletop RPG that we play. It's the Star Trek Adventure System by Modifius. We play that on Astro Pub Stream every Saturday early in the day, about noon to 4, noon to 4 p.m. in the Central Standard Time Zone. So if you haven't checked the show out or you have, like, you can watch it on YouTube. Just, just search for, uh, The Spice Must Roll and you'll find the channel, um, because it's the name of the group, sort of. And then, yeah, like I said, so we got two episodes left of Star Trek Vasquez. And uh, it's supposed to be a pretty good pair of episodes. So definitely watch them live. If you're a fan of the show, I, I encourage these last two that you definitely watch live for sure. But if you can't, you can always catch them later on YouTube. But I did want to mention before we get out of here, um, the nightcrew.games website is now complete. Y'all can go there now. Um, I'm sure it's going to have some more work done to it over time, but it is published at the moment. So nightcrew.games, 
Um, in fact, I'll show it to everybody real fast, just so we can see it. But this is this is the website as it is at the moment, and it's it's you know, it, it's got some stuff on it, but uh, it's it's not quite finished yet. I'm sure I'm sure it's gonna have well, it's finished, but Seg, it's gonna have Seg add-ons a good job as with time this. goes on. Yeah. But some of the stuff that's coming out, oh guys, it looks amazing. But yeah, it's it's pretty cool, and you got different different things going on, and whatever you know, you got you can discover more of the stream team. Click and stream here's team. Little, here's little oh, things Seg, on each of it? us, and things like pain. that. So, but everybody, um, do hope that you do get a time a moment to check out the website when you when you're able to. Again, that's nightcrew.games. And uh, again, uh, once again, I'm Buster Destroyer. Though, to finish up my thing. Uh, you can find me on. Um, my social media is as Buster Destroyer, which is Instagram and um, Twitter. It's just it's just Buster Destroyer without the the in it. But here on Twitch, it's it's Buster the Destroyer. So please come by, see me in a little bit when I go live again. But right now, I need to find somebody for us to raid into. I believe there's a couple of night crew people on at the moment. Um, mm -hmm. Let me look. They are doing their thing. Thank you. Yeah, I think we got TV Liquid going, so let's go just hit him up. Um, I'm going to double Heck check, yeah. make sure he's still live. Yeah, he is. He's yeah. doing really good. I think he's doing a giveaway right now, so perfect person to send you guys to is him because, you know, you might be able to get in on a giveaway. So oh, everybody... and By the way, that the giveaway, guys, is the uh, Exploration Pack with the Carrick. Yeah, Carapin? it's a big, big package. It's, it's a big pack. <laughs> <laughs> and big pack. again, thank you, Buster. Thank you, KP, Con Concerned Penguins, and thank you, rest of the team, for all you do. And especially, thank you, chat. Yeah, thanks, chat. Yeah, thanks for being love. here with thank us. Thanks for, thanks for spending time with us. Yeah. Um, when you Absolutely. get over there, please please hit them up with some emotes. If you have the Night Crew channel's emotes, use those. If you don't have those emotes, you're bound to have, out of the four of us, you're bound to have one of our sets of emotes. So... If if you don't use night crew emotes, at least you at least try to use one of our sets of emotes. And if and if you don't have either, if you don't have either the channels or any of our emotes, just, then just, just put a lot of emotes out. Just just use the Twitch <laughs> rate emote or something, you know, whatever you feel like using. But but when you get over there, make sure your presence is known. Make sure that uh, TV Liquid knows who sent you. That, that it's a night crew raid. I mean, he'll see it, but still, like let, let make him make him feel like he really got raided. You know, hardcore. represent. But Absolutely. thank you so much, chat. Really we do appreciate times. you guys that come in here consistently and watch this every week. And then we also appreciate those of you who just discovered us. So we'll see you Absolutely. there. We'll see you over at TV Liquid Stream. Please don't spoil the raid. I'm watching his channel right. as we speak. <laughs> and showtime tomorrow night is... Uh, 9 p.m. Eastern. 9 p.m. Eastern. There you go. And so yeah, Thursday, another show tomorrow night, late night crew. We'll see you then. Yeah, hosted by Segalian. Anyway, bye, everybody. Bye. Bye, bye. Take care, everybody. Appreciate you. Got another follow at the end. Yeah. There you go. There you go. And in